This cape definitely smells. I put the cape on and I could smell it. it smells like sweat. Gotta wash this cape. There's still a majority of September. <laughs> I've never played this. I've never played this game. But I like so bad it's good. That's like my favorite. And I know I can't get banned for playing. This isn't a mini, I guess, though. This is a uh, trick or treat door music little spooky Halloween mix. 3,190,008 views. Hard stop. That's Lucy in the background. How are you guys doing today? So, I figured we would never play this game, but here we are. Because it's a PS2 game. Hard to stream PS2 games, you know what I mean? Ada. Oh, and I think if we beat this in time, we might start, uh, now that they see Ada, we might start uh, Deadly Premonition. That's the plan. So. Oh, snap. I meant to fix something. Now we have to be embarrassed for a moment. I have to, hi. <laughs> I have to uh, turn you off. I think. Wait, maybe I don't. No, wait, maybe I don't. No, I don't have to turn you off. I'm going to keep you on. Because I think this game is in 4x3. Uh, can I get a uh, display capture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap. Well, I can fix this. I might just turn you off. ME12 for too much boo! Ah! Hi, <laughs> ME12. Okay, so what's this? What is the resolution of this game? I can't tell, because this has been the problem with all of Spooky September. I've been having trouble figuring out what the resolution of the game is, because the screen is so dark. I don't understand. Oh, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. Wait a minute. Yeah, I can fix this. Oh, I can fix this like this. Bigel, shut up. Is this stuff you're supposed to do before the cast starts? Idiot. Done. Fixed. Bam. Four by three. <laughs> I don't want to see whatever this is. I don't want to see this. I don't want to see that. Spoiler alert. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Saturday. It's 10 a.m. 10.02 a.m. On, on uh, Saturday, September 10th. And we are going to be playing a complete playthrough of Michigan Report from Hell. Hi, Fladarian. Hi, ME12. Hi, James Crypto. Hi, Near Dog. Hi, Sid B. Cake. And hi, ME12. Again. We're going to start a new game. I have the sound off. Fucking bagel. <laughs> Professional streaming. Okay. We're going to start a new game. <laughs> Let me know if the sound's too loud or not loud enough. You don't use that in Sweden? Spoiler alert. There's a white line at the bottom. Oh, crap. There's a white line on my screen, too. That's not just a you thing. Um... Now you have a black line. Jerks. I should really do this before the stream starts. Yeah, you can't win them all. Okay, here we go. Basic controls. Left analog stick is move the cameraman. Okay. Right analog stick. Change the camera direction. Okay, move. Look. Got it. L2 button. Ram. I didn't have enough time to read all that. Yo. So Yo. you're the new cameraman, huh? I hear you're a rookie. The name's Briscoe. I love camera games. Guy. Nice to meet you. That's Pamela. You've seen her before, haven't you? Oh. She's Zaka TV's star reporter, after all. Oh, there she is. Hey, Ram. you're pretty lucky to be teamed up with Pamela right off the bat. Yeah, it's already pretty good. But don't go getting any funny ideas about her, you hear me? <laughs> of course, Pamela probably wouldn't give you the time of day anyway. <laughs> I want to try the Ram move. Man, oh, I can move. What could the agency be thinking? That was it. <laughs> I mean, sending a newbie like this guy out to get scoops? Can I charge it up? Huh? Oops. You hear that? Oh, well. Don't let it bother you. What is he talking now, about? <laughs> I'll be teaching you everything you need to know is about he drunk? TV news coverage. <laughs> Listen up. And do exactly as yeah. I say. Is he on drugs? <laughs> Move near Briscoe. 
I'm as of close course. to Briscoe as possible. A cameraman's number one job is to be able to shoot things properly. It doesn't get any more basic than that. <laughs> it doesn't get any more you know basic do, than that. Right? No. Okay. First off, try shooting that box there. Why does that say like a rolling storm? <laughs> this. How do I? Ooh. Oh. It's just an ordinary box. D did I shoot it? What? You should be able to do at least that much if you call yourself a camera. Is this good? I'm really excited. Number two. You gotta have an eye for scoops. <laughs> Why does it sound like he's drunk? Pass you by. <laughs> Just pointing the camera at things will never get you a scoop, you know? <laughs> if you want a scoop, you gotta get out there and make one. <laughs> And you can't just stand there like a stick. You gotta move around. Up high. Down low. What? You gotta shoot the subject from every angle. Is it slowed down? There are some spots called focus points hidden throughout the city. Move around now and try to find some of these focus points. Is that how he's supposed to sound? Um... Okay, that's clearly not anything. What is like a rolling storm? <laughs> I don't think it's like everything else is fine. I don't know why it's. Ooh. Try zooming in on the graffiti on the side of the camper. The focus points hidden in the city explain the controls. They also provide hints and tips to help you along. Good luck finding them, idiot. The graffiti is coming like off the top of the. <laughs> It's fine. Wait, wait. How do I take the photo? Oh. Oh, okay, that's good. I don't know how to take a photo. Oh, thank Scoops. You. Barrett, 18 months! I figured out. Oh my god. <laughs> Barrett, thank you so much. I figured out how to both duck and go prone. I think I said go back to this guy. So the whole game is just like in the camera. I'm just the camera. Hi. Did you find anything? Okay. I Next don't know time. if I did. I don't think so. Ramming is a technique you can use in a pinch. Yeah. What's the ramming about? A cameraman can only use his body. You see. He can't take his hands off the camera. Right. Into me right now. Not too hard, though, you hear? Into me right now. You, you ready? <laughs> okay. Go ahead and try it. But take it easy. We're just practicing here, remember? Okay. Go. <laughs> easy now. I'm charging it up to full. Full ram. Do it from behind. Oh, he spins. <laughs> hey, you idiot! <laughs> Is it I Ada? I told you to take it easy. Son of a... Now only use ramming in emergencies, okay? You'll know when. Just use your common sense. Okay. Man, that hurt. <laughs> I'm at Prisco. <laughs> no, do I need to change something to make it run better, or is this how it's supposed to be? I can't. I really so can't tell. Guy, Hello. Huh? Hello. I'm Pamela. Pamela Martell. Hi, hey, Pamela. Nice to meet you. Okay, Brisco. I'm borrowing the new guy until we start shooting. Okay, fine. But there isn't a whole lot of time, you know. Don't be late for the take. It can be tough out here on location. We've got to work as a team, okay? 
<laughs> don't mind Briscoe. He's always like that. Like what? <laughs> what He's are we really doing? Dependable guy, though. He'll be a big help to us both. I don't oh, think I do, yet. One more thing. As a cameraman, getting <laughs> scoops is important. But it's not the only thing, in my opinion. <laughs> For example, if somebody right in front of you needs help, or if there's some kind of emergency, I think you should stop shooting and help them. Of course, that's just my own personal opinion. But I've There's a piece of lumber behind her. That don't... In some movie scenes, it's possible to stop shooting by pressing the triangle button. It's your call. I was just Wait, about what? to trip over that board. Thank you. So that's the way you work, is it? I can tell we're going to get along just fine. What was that? But if you hadn't warned me about that board, you might have gotten a little scoop on me. That would have been a well, scoop? The reporter tripping is a scoop. The news van. <laughs> what a scoop. <laughs> okay, yeah, Zach and TV team log. An unusually dense fog covers the southwestern area of Lake Michigan, entering, centering on Chicago. The federal government has advised evacuation of cities in the area, including Chicago, because of the fog? <laughs> There's no official word of the fog. It's got pretty foggy. We better evacuate Chicago. <laughs> News reporter Pamela Martell. <laughs> Woman trips on board. Sad in here. Jean-Philippe Briscoe. Chicago began shooting with the above team. <laughs> It's so, it's okay, so, wake up. Time for a scoop. Get up. Scoop. Are you ready? Got your tapes? Wake up, okay? sleepyhead. All right. Pamela is standing by outside. Make her look good now. And leave the sound to me. I only open my eyes this once it's like up to the viewfinder. Let's get it right, okay? Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. This is Pamela Martell. We report tonight on a strange phenomena. Yeah, it's right there. An unusually thick fog, the cause of which is still unknown. Has Good shot of that fog. The southwestern area of Lake Michigan. Wait, Central do I have a Chicago. video camera? <laughs> the entire city is covered. <gasps> Someone screamed. Let's I was go. trying to take pictures this whole time. Is this like a video camera? It is. I can see the tape. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I thought this was like a camera. <laughs> you. What are you talking about? What happened? It came through the <laughs> Oh my god! Help me! Help me! Triangle, triangle! Run! Get away from here! Come on! Let's get back to the news van! You got like you ran for like ten steps. What's happening? Just calm down. What's going on? What was that thing? It's like right calm over down, there. Emma. Calm down? <laughs> How do you expect me to calm down? On. It's gonna be all right. Hey, what's the matter with you? Are you just going to stand there filming? Turn that camera off. I tell you. Come on, Pamela. Right Quit it. Now. Don't get mad at him. Useless idiot! I've had it working with losers hey, like you two. Behind you! I'm joining up with some other team. Uh, what? Just keep quiet. Behind you! There's a. M -m 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 and stop thinking you can order me Monster! around. Huh? Ah! <laughs> what the hell was this? Immoral one twenty. Suspense 547 erotic zero. What? <laughs> Are there multiple endings depending on how like erotic I can make the game? If I make the game erotic enough, do I get the erotic ending? Because I would like that. How could I have made that more erotic? How? <laughs> how would you have made that? <laughs> I know it's sarcastic. 
<laughs> I I don't even know what to say. This game is absurd. <laughs> Not no erotic. Oops. <laughs> like there were just two murders. <laughs> this is awful. Yeah, it's 7.45 a.m. Received information on a possible survivor at the Chicago International Hotel downtown. Okay, now it's 10.23 a.m. Arrived at the International Hotel. Filling in for Pamela Martell because she's dead. <laughs> now it's Ann Anderson. How did Ann Anderson get here? John Philippe Briscoe is still the sound engineer. <laughs> Search hotel but didn't find any survivors. Okay, got it, Inukiri. All we found was evidence that gruesome incident has occurred. Wait, really, Inukiri? <laughs> okay. What was I just doing? <laughs> Why was I sleeping on a table full of fruit? What does it mean when the red thing comes up? The fruit is starting to rot. Okay. I don't... <laughs> what happened here? I don't understand the controls. Hi, I freed. Good morning. Like, when it turns red, what is that? They're octagonal. I thought I'd, I, like, I need the yellow dot in order to ins- that. Why do I have to look at the yellow dot, press A, and then it, like, centers me? I didn't read what that said. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think about that. Pam Pamela and Anderson, yeah. That's Chicago. The famous Chicago skyline. Um. Okay. The red means get closer. What does this mean? <laughs> Find anybody in that room? No. Nobody in this room either. What a bloody mess, huh? All right. Let's give up here. There isn't anybody left in the whole hotel. <laughs> Looks like it was just a false lead. Briscoe went downstairs a long time ago. And anyway, the other teams are getting the jump on us. We don't have time to waste hanging around here. We've got to get out there and find something. Okay. Oh. Huh? Uh, the telephone. Huh? Could it be Briscoe? Where? Okay. Oh, here we go. There's too much static to tell what's on. There's definitely Slow something down. wrong with the game. I can fix it in a second. Slow down. <laughs> no, everything's very slow. Observation the music is on point. Building? Is there anybody else there with you? <laughs> <don't know>. <laughs> Wait, why does it? <laughs> when I press the okay, A button, it centers it. on her ass. Just stay right where when the green are, light okay? is there and I press A, it does that. We're coming to rescue you. You hear me? Don't give up. We're coming, I promise. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> She hung up. There's a survivor in the center building. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Maybe we can get some leads on what's going on. But more importantly, somebody's in trouble. Okay. Risco should be downstairs. 
Let's hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I have to I have to stop it from doing this. That's good. <laughs> the slowdown as funny as it is needs to needs to change. Um let me see if I can actually do that. Okay. That pause screen's frightening. I think I fixed it. Hoffman returned to a hometown. Bacteria and extinction, volume two, the effects on my body. Oh! What? What? What just happened? Why did it do that? Why did it just do that? There was no... There was no reason for that. I feel like I should check out the hotel. Ooh. Bacteria six revive one the source and spread of infection. Yeah. Let the reporter take care of doors. <laughs> Look, don't concern yourself with doors. X button go through, triangle go back. What a guy that Briscoe. As soon as he knows he won't be needed, he takes off. I thought he was downstairs. I don't know what's going on in this game. Like, why? Oh. The corridor is blocked by a piece of furniture. Okay. <laughs> right here, I just want a spooky, like, child laugh. Get it in the game. The door won't open. I thought reporters were supposed to open the doors anyway. Okay. I'm sure none of them will open. No, you can't step over furniture. What's going on? Come on, we're going down. Get in. Okay. The scoop indicator at the top of the screen shows what kind of scoops you've been focusing on your attention on. The E on the left indicates erotic points. The S indicates suspense points. Whoa. Morning, SD Cowboy. I'm looking for erotic horror scoops. Thank you. Oh, I see it now. Mm -hmm. I'm more on the suspense side Who's of things. The piano? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe it's Briscoe. Ah, it's killing me. Let me see if I can fix it. I'm glad the piano's still playing. Yeah, the pause sound is awesome. All right. Maybe that'll do it. You think it's just how the game, the game just slows down sometimes? Cause like nothing on my computer's slowing down, which is the weird thing. Risco, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're supposed to be working. Oh, yeah. Suspense. Damn. 
I can't play this song. No. No. It's no use. What what are we doing? Why is he like possessed or is this how Briscoe is? I haven't known Briscoe long enough. I just let Pamela die. I still can't believe it. <laughs> is he drunk? Did it really happen? What kind of a way to die was that? What am I gonna tell her parents? Briscoe? Why would, why would Briscoe have to tell his parents? Hey, I know. I'll tell him. <laughs> Pamela was a fine reporter and a brave one. She threw herself into her work. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah. Was pretty brave, wasn't she? Yeah, she was pretty brave. I, I loved her. <laughs> we all loved Pamela. Crazy about Pamela. <laughs> Why is she up to? Damn it! I didn't even get a chance to say goodbye. What? Are, what do we do in this game? I understand how you feel. <laughs> Remember. Pamela and I started together. We were always friendly rivals. Look, I wish it didn't happen either. But, you know... I miss Pamela. Is what this job's all about. No, After it's not. All, Pamela knew the danger she faced. And I won't let Pamela die in vain. That's why... That's why we've got to keep going for her. Let's go out there and capture the truth. Briscoe, come on. We can't do it without you. <laughs> this is so stupid. She... Yeah. 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 I guess you're right. No, it's all suspense. I mean, the erotic points are kind of weird. I gotta sober up. Think you could find me some water? All right, sure. What are we doing in this game? I'm just walking around, like, walking, watching people talk to each other. Oh, if I hold down A, I lock on to her. Oh. Hello? Just my imagination. <laughs> Can't handle this. <laughs> I would. There isn't anybody here. Right. They were evacuated. Nothing but soda. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the slowdown's wonderful. I'm loving it. <laughs> Wait, what? I don't even know how to do that cop find, but I'm going to try my best. How do I enable a speed hack? Uh Yeah, it's at 2x. It's already at that. I don't know how to do the I don't know how to do the first thing you said. This game's really this game's really bad, but it's it's pretty it's pretty funny so far. Um Just ge their general options. Oh, wait, I see it.
Uh. Uh. Okay. Okay. I don't know if I actually did anything. Ah, well, we'll see. Don't use OpenGL? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. I don't think I am. Oh, I was using Direct3D9. I should use Direct3D11 software? I don't know how to... Oh, there's another 11 hardware. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Thank you for the tips, everyone. I don't really know how to do this. A huge spotted spider. <laughs> You've got to see me, Ed. Ed. Hey, what are you? <sighs> Thank you. That was close. Sorry, cop fine. I'm an idiot. That was hilarious. I rammed her. Did you see that? Okay, you can't ram her again. Oh, the water. Oh, it's water. What is the laughing? Oh, it's the water. Let's get back to Briscoe. This will sober Briscoe up. Did you see that part where a spider almost landed on her? I think we fixed it. Thank you for the help. We found some, Briscoe. Here, drink up. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, I'm a new man. Oh my god, this is okay, great. Back to cover now I'm now I'm excited. Now I'm happy. <laughs> that was a quick recovery. Okay. It was direct X11 was the fix. In the center building. Okay, got it. The van's outside. Let's go. Yeah, that was the slowdown was certainly unique. So I can just stay locked on her butt by pressing that. That's good. Oh, is that it? Drake, yeah. The reporter always has their gun handy, so focus on incoming monsters to get the reporter to fire at them. Smaller monsters can be taken down with a gun. I didn't read that. Wait, why does the reporter always have their gun? Is that me? Get it. Oh, sorry. I wanted to see the. I wanted to see her shoot. Yikes. Really, at 53. That's stupid. Yeah. Keep filming. You hear? Get, get it. What a dumb. This, this this combat is pretty stupid. What a scoop! <laughs> what a scoop! My God! What a scoop! Hey Tony, happy Saturday. How are you doing? Fire! Wow! I did it! Wow! Man, man, you're good. Is that it? I guess the big one got scared and took off. That wasn't so tough, really. But let's get out of here before the big guy comes back. <laughs> Come on! 
Yes, let's oh, go. Thank you. Hey, kids, it's Scoopy. Scoopy, Scoopy September. That's good. I like that. That's funny. I thank you, Killing Moon, for 15 months. I think I got some erotic points at the end there. I think I got a little. Oh, where are we? It's 2.26 p.m. On the way to the center building in the news van. Are we trying to save that girl hey, on the phone? It's a news van. We found Crew it's B's van. Ours. Let's join up with them. Good idea. Due to the emergency situation, we decided we better team up with them. You didn't need to write that. You did. Let's team up with them. We decided to team up with them. We didn't see anybody around the van, though. More details later. Still crawling. Good. There isn't anybody inside. No, I guess not. The E is throbbing. You see that? Where did they go? I can't move. Hey! Look, there's somebody over there. Huh? P -p Pamela? Oh, Pamela! Look what happened to you. Poor Wait, thing. Pamela's fine. Hey, what's the matter with you? Hurry up and give me a hand! Are you okay, Pamela? I'm sorry I didn't save you before, but it couldn't be helped. That thing was eating you. There was nothing we could do. Pamela's definitely alive. evil. Thank God. Come on, Pamela. Let's go. What's the matter? Are you all right? Oh, oh my God! Are you all right? What the? What are you doing? That's Pamela, you know. Are you all right, Pamela? Pamela! Did they know what they were doing when they made this game? I got 668 erotic points that time. Nailed it. Um, like, so much of the game is just, like, mildly creepy stuff happening and everyone just screaming in chaos. <laughs> yeah, the guy's like, wait, quick, I'm getting some erotic points. <laughs> with, with, with Pamela's possessed corpse. I don't know. Did they know what they were doing? Because this is hilarious. Come on. Hurry. They had to have this known way. how funny this was, right? Why does everyone get winded so quickly? It's to get it's to get erotic shots, isn't it? God damn it. Son of a Take Son of a Risco. That wasn't Pamela. Anyway. Let's hide out here for the time being. Who made this? Is this like an actual like... Like did people who make real video games make this game? What, what are we doing? They're broken. We can't get out this way. Okay. Door. Reporter, door. Um. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I doing? Oh. Wow. There's even fog in here. <laughs> Fog's so creepy. Huh. Hum. Is that what you call a scoop? Reporter, door, get it. Get the door. I can't open doors. It's a third-rate gossip rag. X-rated criminal loose in Chicago? <laughs> What? 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 
What is an X? What is uh, an X-rated criminal? What's Briscoe doing? Oh. <laughs> Let the reporters take care of doors. I will. Oh, those are the games they made? No more heroes? That's a game, isn't it? D or D. I think we'd better be careful. It looks like we're being watched. I'll try to lie low for a while too, from M. Do we know a D or an M? If you're reading this note, you'd be wise to leave here at once before something terrible happens. Wow. That coffee looks great. It'd be nice to take a break right about now. Huh? Nah. Must be imagining things. So they made a lot of games. Okay. What's the issue? Oh, the copier. I hope it doesn't print something spooky. Time filming that for. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Briscoe, to be honest, I don't know what's happening. I just wanted to leave. But when I try to do that, it says let the reporters take care of the doors. They don't make a, they don't make low budget games like this anymore. Yeah, I blame uh, HD graphics for ruining that. Um. Ugh. Do I leave? Oh, wait, do I just leave the room? No. What is Shadows of the Dam Strider? What? Okay. Oh. Inter-office memo. Attention. Please ensure the key is replaced in its original position. Okay. So I'm looking for a key. I think. <laughs> okay, I think I'm looking for a key. What system is Shadows of the Damned on? Where would we hide the key? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the key. Huh? I was ready for it. What's this key? Hey there, General Peaches. I'm not getting any points. Try as I might. What, okay, okay, thank you, game. What, what does this mean? What are you doing? Open the door. Get the, hey, key here. What are we, what's going on? Okay, so, okay, okay, hello. I got the key. <laughs> the mechanics of this game are so, like, are so bad. <laughs> now, what are we trying to do with the key? Do we, okay, do we leave? Wait, we leave. There's a monster out there. Oh, right, the monster. stay here. It'll corner us. Huh? Whoa. There's something there. Pamela. <laughs> oh. Shoot it. Is that really Pamela? Oh yeah, wait, that is Pamela, yep. Good enemy design. This is as exciting as this scene should be. No! Stop! Oh my god! 
Um. Wait, that, what? Did I mess up? <laughs> Is that okay? What was that? Did that? It it seemed like the death wasn't cinematic enough for to for it to be an appropriate death. I think you were supposed to click the big red button. I was clicking the red button. I fucked up. What did I do? How would you have done that? I told her to shoot. Bam. Oh my god. Now we're getting the dead Anne ending. Are we really getting the dead Anne ending now? We went to the center village to look for the survivor and cover the story. But reporter Ann Anderson met with a sudden accident. I'm afraid she's dead. Feel like our own lives were in danger too. We decided to go back to the office to regroup. Did I really like miss? I'm really upset with myself. We're here. I miss Ann. Man. It sure is quiet. Oh. Maybe everybody evacuated already? Yeah, I was like, what did I do with that key? Oh, people. Mr. Briscoe? Is this the new report? Thank goodness. I'm so glad you're okay. Hey, it's Carly. It's Carly! Glad to see you're okay, too. Where is everybody? A few teams are still out covering the news. They told me to get out of the city, though. But I forgot something back here at the office. I came to pick it up just now. I see. Um... Do you think you could wait for me for a minute? Huh? Oh yeah, sure! I didn't see any way to save Anne. Okay, like let it be known. Hey Chips! Good morning Chips! I didn't see any way- how have you been Chips? What happened? What just happened? I saw no way to save Anne in that previous level, okay? Let it be known, I tried to save Anne and I didn't see any way to save her. What is this? The Zaka TV staff yearbook. Why would there be a staff yearbook? Look at this picture of you. You look weird. And this girl. <laughs> Take a look. Hey, there's Pamela's picture. What are you looking at? <laughs> She's so beautiful. I told her to shoot. I was telling her to shoot. Look, she's smiling. You know, she always looked her best when she was smiling. Pamela. Pamela. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget you, Pamela. <laughs> you went through such a range of emotions. The shelves are lined with data from bad shows. Lone Gunman 2, starring Balboa Brothers. Okay. Is that a joke? I don't get it. It's some kind of note. Way over there. The names of the Zaka TV mascot is Zaka Boy, apparently. Quick note, our mascot is Zaka Boy. <laughs> Write this down. The mascot for Zaka TV is Zaka Boy. <laughs> I'm upset that we missed part of that level. I feel like there would be missed out on some more great content. On account of my ineptitude in saving Ian. It seems to be locked. Okay. I mean, just like from what we've seen so far, this might be like the worst game. Like the worst spooky game we've ever played. I don't... Thanks for waiting for me. Oh, okay. Hi. 
Oh, wow. That's awful. What Both is? Pamela and Anne were really dedicated to their work. Well, we, we're now we're doing the Carly playthrough then. There's nobody here. Where'd everybody go? So many things on this table I want to interact with, and I can interact with none of them. Okay. They appear to be some kind of news notes. Maybe they were left by one of the other news teams. Went to the site of the crash, but it was all very strange. The army was acting pretty jumpy, too. The crash. Doesn't look like there are any messages. Wonder if the other news teams are all right. We'll do that uh, next year. How about that? What? What? Maybe somebody's in the back room? No sign of anybody here either. I felt like I wasn't done exploring that last room. Looks like some kind of note. They appear to be some kind of news notes. Some people who didn't make it out of the city are holed up in... Damn it. Adonis and I are heading over there right now. I, I didn't get the most important part of the note. Like, it went too quick. Where are they hold up? Oh. Hey, that's the telephone. <laughs> Thank you, Brisco. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a telephone. Zaka TV, may I help you? Hello. Did this a forest building? Yes. What is the forest building? Uh huh. Okay, don't worry. Just calm down and speak slowly, okay? Me? What? I'm Carly Reese. Yes, that's right. From the evening news. You do? Well, thank you. <laughs> yes. Yes, there's definitely an evacuation advisory. I see. <laughs> Speak slowly. You can't get out of bed? Where are you? <laughs> okay, I understand. I'll be right over. I got to here. I press the A it button wasn't. and it just does that. It was an elderly gentleman in a nursing home. It sounds like he's been left behind there. We're gonna go rescue him? Well, of course. No way! I've had enough danger for one day. Thank you very much. But he's been left behind <laughs> and he's elderly. Let the police or rescue services take care of it. It's not our job. It's not our job. But those services aren't running anymore. That's why he phoned us. Well, what else do you suggest? There's an elderly gentleman out there who needs help. We can't just ignore him. You just want a good story, that's all. How rude! Of course not! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I guess we gotta go. Like, this game is so bad. Like, there's nothing happening. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Briscoe. <laughs> I'm warning you, it's dangerous out there. What's he doing? <laughs> I don't understand, like, the, like, what is the, like, can you lose? Is there, like... Or does the game just say like, ah, another reporter died. Let's go. And I do, I do hope we get to see the Zaka TV mascot. Looks so bad. <laughs> it just keeps running. <laughs> okay, it's uh, 4.40 p.m. We went back to the office to regroup and ran into reporter Carly Reese there. 
We got a phone call that said an old man had been left behind at the Brody Nursing Home. Torgo, this is good. News reporter Carly Reese. She's our third reporter because we've killed two of them, Torgo. We've, mistakes were made. Sound engineer is still Jean Philippe Briscoe. Jean Philippe is a uh, passionate man. Head to the nursing home with the above team. Yes, <laughs> chips. Yes. Good evening, everybody. <laughs> Look at this. this. Is Carly Look at this. They gotta hold this Our microphone. News team received a would you call. Would you take this news team seriously? It seems an old man has been left behind at a nursing home. Here we are now at the Brody Nursing Home. Just about to begin searching the inside of the facility for the elderly gentleman. Is somebody there? Help! Please help me! Over here! Over there? Hi, I want to go. Justine! Carly? And Briscoe too? You came to save me? <laughs> Justine, what on earth happened? Who did this to you? I don't know. I have no idea. I was at the office when somebody suddenly attacked me from behind and knocked me out. When I came to, I was here like this. Please, get me out of these things. <laughs> Look at these shackles. <sighs> Who would do this? Whoever it was. Oh yeah, she shackled. Quite the sadist. Quite the Just sadist. Just hang on. We'll get you free from there. But how did I don't think this is how this game works. Well, we'll just have to look around. There's got to be some way to do it. Hmm. Hey, cameraman. Yeah? Do you like this kind of stuff? What? Hey! What's the matter with you? <laughs> <laughs> I can't, no, I can't handle this. What was, was that, what was that? What was that joke? What was that sound effect? <laughs> Are we gonna do it again? I don't know, but uh, I think I could get into this kind of stuff. You pervert! <laughs> Okay, one last time. That are free, but you pervert. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Um, <laughs> is this a puzzle? No, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, but what about arranging the balls like this? There's a strange poster on the wall. It shows how to arrange the pool balls. This sound effect is so funny. It looks like there aren't even enough balls to play nine ball. Yes, that's odd, isn't it? Let's go look for the missing balls. How have we decided that this is the way? To, I know this is like a, a, a like a horror game or whatnot, and that obviously that's the way to release the shackles. But like, why in like real life would you assume? Okay, she's tied up to the pool table. Let's find the rest of the balls. All right, it's on uh, PS2. Okay, I feel like we found one of them. It's the nine ball. Ah, there it is. Three more, huh? It's not anything. It's the nine ball! Wow! <laughs> wow, wow, wow! <laughs> what was that sound effect? Like the guitar strum? Like what was that? After the pervert line? It's the nine ball! Some kind of note. It's no use. Guns won't work against that thing. Okay. 
Das ist ein Baum. Huh? There's something here. Is it pornography? I didn't know how pornographic this game was going to be. Yeah, she died. I messed up. She died. I don't even know how I messed up, though. How did you get up here? What? It's no use. It won't open. Huh? Huh? I bet there's something important in there. Okay. I like that I can't open doors. Also, I like that we left her tied up by herself. Like, all three of us had to go. We can't look for... We can't look for the, uh... Like, the billiard balls. Without the uh, sound guy, Jean-Philippe Briscoe. <laughs> oh! Oh, I, I totally missed this. <laughs> Man, there's another dead body here. Did the monsters come here too, I wonder? Maybe. <gasps> the poor man. Hey! Look! There's a ball! It's the seven ball! <laughs> Just two more, huh? <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, look, it's a dead body. Wait a minute, it's the seven ball! <laughs> it's like a really creepy episode of Blues Clues or something. <laughs> look, on that corpse, it's a clue! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay. What do we have? You have a cousin? It's a sick name. There's a diary here. August 20th, government issued an evacuation advisor today. What in the world is happening to Chicago? For now, I think I'll send my wife and kids down to Texas, but with the, the way things the way they are, I bet the airport will be a real mess. Okay. Um, why is this game called M Michigan Report from Hell? If Chicago is not Michigan. Pretty sure Chicago is in Illinois. If a monster comes in and attacks Carly, I don't know how to stop it. I like bathrooms. Anytime we're in a bathroom in a game, I like it. There's, I can see the ball in there. A bathtub? Huh? Whoa, a ba you got a bathtub over here. Sure is a nasty color. It, I know it's close. It still doesn't make sense. Why don't I try pulling the plug? I live near Canada. I don't call my house Canada. Hey, another ball. What one is it? It's the one ball. <laughs> Just one more left to go. Hey, this bathtub's full of blood. I'm gonna pull the plug. It's just called, in Japan, it's just called Michigan. <laughs> what do you, what's, what do you know about Chicago? Full of monsters. Also, it's, called, it's actually called Michigan. Okay. I don't understand how this game works. Oh, hey, look. it's about the lake. I'm I sorry. I like the way that chandelier is swaying. Oh my goodness. If it does fall, it'll crash right onto Justine. 
What if we just moved the pool table? Right, but what if we just moved the pool table? Okay, I didn't know lake. I didn't think about the lake. Is this a different bathroom? Yes. A bathtub? Huh? That water sure is a nasty color. Yeah, it is. I wonder if there's anything in it. I'll try pulling the plug. It's a corpse. <laughs> it's all right. Calm down. It's just a dead body. You idiot. It's not going to attack you or anything. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry about that. He looks like my dead brother, that's all. <laughs> I kind of went to pieces there for a second. <laughs> that dead body looks like my dead brother. <laughs> the dead guy looks like that other dead guy. <laughs> okay. So that was a good scene. That was all that was for. <laughs> was for it to be a body and for her to scream. There was nothing else. There was nothing else to see in there. Wonder if thieves broke in during the confusion? This place is an absolute wreck. What do, What does that sound effect mean? I, am I getting a scoop? Like, what? what is that? Is that that you're getting a scoop sound? It's a freshly worn bed. Book of Prophecy, Providence. Life forms created by civilization. Huh? The pillow. It's floating. <laughs> so that's actually, we're done with the pillow now. Hey, look at that pillow. It's floating. All right. Well, I don't see any billiard balls. Just in case they try to hide something on me, let me get low. Yeah, I think we're good. Nine playthroughs, huh? Because you got to kill each reporter. Oh my god, it's floating! <laughs> it looks like a toolbox. It would be useless to take it with you. It's a desk clock. It must be broken, it's not moving. <laughs> why, why does the game keep doing this? I wonder if it works. Whoa. Look at this lamp. Did you just hear a strange noise? It came from inside the armoire. Armoire. <laughs> So I can't read the book. The sound came from inside this thing. That could be a door. Mr. Briscoe, <laughs> I, should, I should find the sound effect. There's a room back there. What's a room doing there? What's a... Wait a minute. What's a room doing here? Huh? Oh. Must be imagining things. I can't. Can't move. We're still. It's the four ball. I'll be pissed if Carly dies. It's the four ball. Like the room is covered in bloody hands, and we just saw like a dead child. It's the four ball. Oh. Does this come out that locked door? Yes. Okay, let's go save that girl. Wait a minute. I don't want to screw this up. In, in case they make me do it. 
One, two, four, six, nine, eight, seven, three, five. Wait, one, two, four, six, nine, eight, seven, three, five. One, two, four, six, nine, eight, seven, three, five. One, two, four, six, nine, eight, seven, three, five. One, two, four. Putting the balls in the rack. One, two, four. Wait. This, uh, I don't think this is right. One, two, four. Oh. The sound effect's good. Six nine eight seven three five. That was it. You're right. There was I, there's no fail state at least. This is great animation. There, they're all open now. Okay, hang on. I'll get you off of there. by myself. Ah! <laughs> Thank you very much for helping me. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Huh? But I'm the one that saved you. The cutscenes don't show the reporters. Tony, thank you! <laughs> because the reporters could be dead. Thank goodness you're safe now, Justine. But... But what? We didn't find that elderly gentleman, the one that called us asking for help. The elderly gentleman? I didn't think there was anybody here. I was yelling and yelling, but nobody answered me or came to help, until you guys showed up, that is. But there should be an old man here somewhere, because he called us. Old man? No, I tell you, I didn't see anyone. I don't know anything, not even where this is. Okay. Yeah, it's a new Twitch thing, Smarmadon. Hi, Smarmadon. A telephone call. I wonder if it was a trick to lure us here. But why? What good would that do anyone? Look, how should I know? But I guess you're right. I guess we'd better get out of here. Great. I'm all for getting out of here. Yes. Just they have? you wait here until we make sure it's safe, okay? Okay, fine. <laughs> look, this is the job for a news team. Mr. You Bristol, stay where you are. Let's go look for an escape route. Don't come with us. Let the reporters scout ahead. Um, did, did, when they made this game, did they like have like a um like a plot in mind? Like did they did they like know what they wanted to do with this game when they started making it? Or do they or do they just wing it? Hey, let the reporters take care of doors. I feel like she's gonna die. Oh yeah, it's an abstract way for Twitch to uh, take donations. Or to to yeah to middleman donations. Yes. Um, I read the note. Sounds like the water's running, but it's not. Everything was planned. <laughs> what? That was just the door. Um. I mean, I've been in all these rooms. I don't remember a way out. I tried to use that door, and it didn't let me. I can't, uh... I cannot ram my way through the window. The refrigerator is very big. It's tall. <laughs> it's like a 10 foot tall refrigerator. Um, nothing in that armoire. Yeah, I know. We, we looked at that. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Red Dwarf. I set the notification to a, to 100. I don't think I ever mentioned I did that, though. Thank you, Red Dwarf. I, okay, so I mean, like, I feel like this is one of the only doors I can interact with. And the reporter is not coming with me. She's just standing there. Oh, am I supposed to look at something here? Hey, look! There's something on the floor. It's a key! <laughs> you can't even see it. <laughs> I wonder what door it opens. I wonder what door it opens as she makes a beeline toward the door it opens. Ah, it opened! Yeah. Pretty ner- I don't want to kill Carly. Ah! A monster! Okay. Oh my god, um... The gun doesn't seem to work in this monster. Maybe if you shoot something else? Shit. I do oh my god, don't kill Carly. Jesus. Um. Crap! I don't know what I'm- I don't know what I'm doing! The light. No. Oh, wait, yes, maybe. I did it! Thanks, Amy 12. In my defense, I tried to shoot the light, I couldn't. I shot the gasoline, and then I was looking for a way to light it on fire, and I didn't think shooting a light caused fire. In my defense. <laughs> that was a dumb monster. The garage door. We can get out through here. It's the garage door. Justine. Carly playthrough. Come on in. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, here I come. All here right, comes Justine. Here. Where do you want to go? I wonder if the others at the office are okay. Justine is fine with this. There isn't anybody at the office anymore. The chief told everybody to go home. I stayed and saw everybody else off personally. I bet that they're all with the families now and that they've already escaped the city. We ought to escape too. I'm worried about my family. They might still be here in Chicago looking for me. Now we gotta find her family. Okay, then... Let's take Justine home first. Why? You can just take me as far as you're going. Are you sure? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, let's drop Justine and off in the way, middle Mr. of Chicago. Pesco, our other teams that got sent out, the ones that haven't come back to the office yet, they might still be here in the city, don't you think? Don't We'd you think? Find out. Son of a fuck. Are you serious? I know where Kristen's team is anyway. He got word there was a monster in the old Miller family mansion. He took his team over there to cover the story. The Miller mansion? Mr. Briscoe, we should go there too. God damn it! Be a miracle if we get out of Chicago alive! Okay. I got 10 immoral points. I don't know how. I don't really know what immoral points are. I know, he's been dropping a lot of son of us. I was thinking that too. <laughs> These guys will do anything for a Zack a TV story. <sighs> Zack a TV team log. 6, 10 p.m. At the Brody Nursing Home, evening, we found Zaka TV reporter Justine Rose in shackles. Chicago seems to have turned into a virtual city of death. Our news team has gotten word that some of our colleagues may have <laughs> We've been left Justine Rhodes. Hi, Shark Balls. We're just about to enter the mansion to see what's happened to them. She told what's us that Christine now? Henning's team was at the Miller Mansion covering a story. 
We decide to go there to team up with them. I do like the white text on black screen aesthetic. This is nice. Freeze! <laughs> There's a monster right in front of us. Hey, everyone, stop! There's a monster. In I don't know if you can tell, but there's a monster in front of us. It's not moving. I bet it would if we got too close. Man, that thing looks brutal. We would Everyone, stop! There's a monster. <laughs> Make sure you stay back. All right. Say, all right. All right. I'll stay back. <laughs> she runs away. <laughs> This picture isn't too bad, I guess. Why? Why do we have to play the sound effect? Let the reporters take care of doors. This picture isn't too bad. There isn't anybody here. Did they evacuate? I noticed that when I look at the, uh, the table. I'm staring at this coffee table. I realize that there's nobody here. It's a note. There's stew in the pot on the stove. All you have to do is heat it up. Love, mum. Is this the stew? Huh? The pot. It's floating. It's a note. It looks like it was left by a member of the family. Snacks are in the cupboard. Help yourself. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. I I one of these. <laughs> when I was a kid, I wanted to live in a house with a big refrigerator like this. One filled with tons of ice cream. <laughs> There's no reason for this. No time for Briscoe's ramblings. You better get going. They know that they were making a hey, funny game. I'm talking over here. I've always wanted a ref Ever since I was a kid, I wish I had a refrigerator. Looks like the basement. Want to go down? I don't think I will. I get claustrophobic in basements. I don't think I will. Newspaper from a week ago. The headline says, Research Director of Zaka Biolabs fired? It's a normal headline with a question mark. Front page news in Chicago. Did this guy get fired? I don't know. <laughs> Do I go downstairs? I don't think I will. <laughs> oh, game took over. <laughs> Wait. Poor guy. It's all over for him. God, it's a shame when a co-worker dies. Yep. No matter who it is. Even if he sucks. <laughs> but I guess we'd better be going. <laughs> Every level has a time limit? Oh, I have 30 minutes? I'm sure I'm doing fine. I wish you hadn't said that, though. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Why did I fall down the stairs? Who's that guy? Mr. Briscoe, did you find anything in the basement? We found the corpse of our nah. friend. Just another dead body. What? But how? How? Monster. How could anyone be dead? Worry how? about it. How? But <laughs> <laughs> Gotta wait for her to be here, I think. I'm trying to figure out the mechanics of opening the doors. I think they have to be standing in the circle. Do you want to? Yeah, do you want to get that? I 
A newspaper filled with nothing but gossip. Modern mystery? Bigfoot appears? I don't- I understand I'm like getting points when that sound effect goes off, but I don't understand why. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. It's a stepladder. Doesn't seem to be anything special about it. Okay. What's that? Oh my god! There's something on top of the armoire. But... It's way too high. We'll never reach it. If we use this... We'll be able to hey, see the Ames. top of the armoire. Welcome to a wonderful game. Oh my god, Carly is actually interacting with the stepladder. Kind of. Wait, I gotta get the shot, wait. I'm doing it! I got it! It's a key! Maybe it unlocks something here in the house. Okay, we got the key. I got a few uh, erotic points there, guys. You're welcome. That's a, that's a important part of this horror game. Carly, you're phasing through the ladder. It's a diary. August 18th. Had a date today. But what's with this fog? What a shame. If it had been sunny, we could have watched the lake. I can't read as fast as the game thinks I can. It's a toilet. There isn't anything special about it. <laughs> it's a toilet. Ba -na -na -na. So I guess Carly's ready to leave. Um, we actually killed uh, the earlier reporter, who I miss. She had a great voice actors. So I guess we're looking for a locked door now. Yeah, it's like I, they just put like random things that you have to look at and you get points for doing it. Okay, we haven't gone maybe this way. Oh! Right, the monster. Brink. Where did Carly go? <laughs> I like when she runs right to the door that needs to be opened. <laughs> Thank you, Carly. Yeah, it's kind of, toilet. It's a toilet. Oh. There's a note here. It says, apparently Zaka Boy has a girlfriend. <laughs> the greatest revelation of them all. Zaka TV mascot Zaka Boy has a girlfriend. I bet we can open this with that key we just found. Little of, little of both. No one else take a gun. We have to hold the camera and sound equipment. The gun, like, sticks out. Okay, I think we're done in here. So can I kill that guy now? Let's see where Car Carly knows what she's doing. Shoot it! Riveting combat! That was awesome! Huh? Damn! Looks like we're out of bullets! Oh well, that monster's in heaven! <laughs> I mean, hell. Oh, phew! That was amazing! 
Yep. That monster's in heaven. I mean, hell. <laughs> gotcha, monster. <laughs> Taking that monster down a notch. You're going to heaven. You're a monster, idiot. <laughs> Suck it, monster. <laughs> I know, if only we could get more guns somehow. <laughs> it's no use. It won't open. You didn't try that hard. Um, we found a gun and we shot it. Three times. That was it. It was very low stakes. Just because you don't like the reporter, that doesn't give you the license to do terrible things. What? Uh, nothing. Never mind. What? Hmm. I don't know why. What are we talking about? What was that dialogue? <laughs> what just happened? Wait for Carly. Oh, I got bonus time. Yeah, now I got 33 minutes again. Ooh, bathtub. I hope he, I hope he freaks out about the tub being here. It's another bathtub. Oh my god. Maybe we'll find something if we pull the plug. I mean, it appears like we won't. No, nothing. Gee, I don't know. The game seems confused. You think you hear an odd noise. Why would draining the bathtub open a door? Armoire is safe. Read the note. Yeah, I don't know what they were just talking about. I don't know what that part of the note and them saying those two things. I don't know what that did. So did draining that water somehow open this door? This door? It's not locked anymore. Of course it did. It's a newspaper from several weeks ago. Army plans large-scale maneuvers on the shores of Lake Michigan. <laughs> Did that end with a question mark, too? Is that more question mark reporting? <laughs> Is the army mobilizing a force next to Lake Michigan? <laughs> Why would they do that? Oh, this guy's alive. Hey, are you all right? Hey, you okay? Hey, buddy, you okay? Oh. Carly... Is that you? Wait. What are you doing here? How, who's this guy? Yes, it's me. Oh, right. This guy's like the we news guy. Okay, you. I got it. I got it. Oh, hang on now, sir. Oh. I, I, I was a fool. <laughs> I let my whole team get killed. I was a I fool. Or am I, anyway? It wasn't your fault. It's all too strange. What's happening here? I was a fool! And what Zaka is doing too. I don't know the details, but Jeff might know something. <coughs> Jeff? Lately, <coughs> the chief's been sending Jeff out on special assignments. Who's this Jeff? Jeff went to St. Matthew's Church. It's ten blocks up. <coughs> went there to do a story. Oh, and... Could you do me a favor? Anything, Mr. Henning. Tell my wife something for me. Yes? I'm going someplace far away to do a story. And I won't be back. Tell her it's my lucky break. <laughs> Biggest scoop 
of my life. Mr. Henny! <laughs> Mr. Henny! He's already dead. <laughs> Let's go. He's already dead. Let's get out of here. Carly, come on. I'm going oh. to get a big scoop. All right. I won't be back. Come on. Let's go to the church. I'm going to be interviewing God. <laughs> There's soup on the stove. <laughs> That was such a funny, that was such a funny, like, I'm dying speech. <laughs> I'm going on a big trip. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. This is Carly Reese. I'm afraid I can't seem to find the proper words to describe to you the current state of affairs. We've all lost so many things. Chicago Why am I getting erotic points right here? Horrible state of tragedy. Like the E is throbbing when We're I look at her at knees. St. Matthew's Church, you see this? But we've all but given up hope. Zaka TV Why am viewers, I getting erotic points for looking at her knees? This may be my last report. Of. Well, this is great. Okay. Look at all these dead bodies. Oops, wait a minute. <laughs> Maybe Jeff's one of them. <laughs> Mr. Briscoe, there's something moving up there ahead. It has an intense look of sadness on its face. Jeff! Jeff! Yo, chill out. I'm looking at these dead bodies. Jeff's a demon. I have, I'm, I'm not gonna have any idea how to kill this. Wait, is that it? We just gotta shoot the head? No, not her. Take the shot. What are you doing? Oh, we're moving. We're leaving. You can smell the odor of rotting flesh. This person probably has loved ones somewhere. <laughs> Way is it going to work with this monster? But what can I do? What can I do? And then she runs immediately to what she has to do. <laughs> Watch out! Above you! I was trying to push her out of the way of something, but I don't know what. Huh? I don't, what, what did I just do? Oh, we lost Carly. <laughs> Gonna miss you, Carly. You were a hell of a reporter. 
<laughs> I don't even know what was happening. It doesn't matter anymore, Yiger. It doesn't matter anymore. We already lost Anne. Carly kind of sucked. 7.28 p.m. <laughs> we started our driving to the main head. We started out driving to the main headquarters. Skipping level, speed run. <laughs> but Briscoe ended up crashing the van. <laughs> the van was totaled. We were lucky to be alive. <laughs> After walking around aimlessly in the mountains a while, <laughs> we came across a deserted campground. <laughs> I thought we were in Chicago. <laughs> Seeking refuge, we headed to the campground's lodge. There's the lodge. We're tired. We'd better rest there a while. How did you total Sorry the van? About this. If I hadn't crashed the van, we could have been at headquarters by now. I hope there's another reporter in here. Look! Somebody's lying there unconscious. Let's go see. <laughs> yeah, we don't be have careful. to talk about how we just killed Carly. It could be a monster. Yeah, I'd be happy to get rid of Briscoe. Doesn't look like a monster. Is it alive? Just taking a quick nap. Are you two with Zaka TV? Wait, what of course. What are you doing here? Did Dwight ask you to come? No. We had a little car crash. I didn't see a car crash. We've been wandering around looking for help. We just found this place totally by accident. Really? And you? What were you doing there, passed out? Hmm. I was supposed to meet Dwight here. But I can't remember anything else. Huh? Anyway, let's go inside and talk. She doesn't seem to have much of a backstory. Is she a reporter or is she just a random person? He's, he really inserts himself into the story. How did you know we were a Zaka TV news team? Yeah, how could you tell? Because that's a Zaka TV shirt. Dwight works for Zaka TV, so I recognized it. Huh? By Dwight? Do you mean Dwight Murdoch? Yes, that's right. Do you know him? Of course I do. He and I go way back. Well, Zaraji, I wasn't trying to do that. He got hired at the same time, you see. He never told me he had such a cute girlfriend, though. Whoa. My name's Nina. Nice to meet you. Didn't Anne die earlier this morning? Briscoe. And what about you? You never put down that camera, do you? That gets to be a habit with TV cameramen. But you probably know all about it. Yes, I do, actually. Dwight's the same way. Oh, there it is. Now it's moving. So, why did you come here? This is a great Didn't game. They really, they really thought about everything when they were making this game. I heard the evacuation advisory after Dwight had already gone out to cover the story. He couldn't story. make it back to our apartment, so we agreed to meet halfway, here at this lodge. And so here I am. Why were you passed out? Did you get attacked? I don't know. Maybe. Hey, welcome back, James! The question is, who attacked you? If he's hanging around here when everybody else is evacuating. We're getting the points. We're getting E points. No good. Doing something he didn't want anybody to see. And then you showed up. I bet he hit you over the head with a blunt instrument. What? So where is this guy now? He's probably still somewhere nearby. Calm down. There's nothing to worry about, Nina. It's just thunder. It's starting to rain. I can't squander it anymore. So you think this guy is nearby? I don't know. I don't know. But don't worry. We're here with you. Why now. is he being so creepy? That's true. 
I wonder what's going to wait, though. Why don't you try paging him? Good idea. Nope. No can do. Nope. The phone's not working. Nope. Damn. So we're cut off from the outside world, huh? By the way, Nina, did you come here by car? Yes. I left it in the parking lot. Whoa. Okay, good. Here's what we'll do then. We'll wait for Dwight until it stops raining. If he doesn't show up by then, we'll take off in your car. <laughs> what? It won't do us any good to hang around here. What kind of survival situation is like, we okay, we're going to wait for it to stop raining. Office anyway. Okay, that sounds reasonable. Until then, we should each take a room and relax and try to get our strength back. This is, this is, this is you must be absurd, tired too, James. Nina. Why don't you take a shower or something? Yes, all right. Yes. I guess I will. Yes. Agreed. Yes, I will take a shower. Yes, of course. Why don't we just uh, hang around here? Why don't you take a shower? Oh, yeah, 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 it's all good. Why are you unconscious? I don't know. I bet there's a creep that came and hit you with a blunt instrument and you passed out. But don't worry, I'm here to protect you. Why don't you take a shower? Okay. Yes, I would love to. Whoa, I just, did I just open that door? That shower did me a world of good. What did I just do? Sounds like the rain stopped too. What did what just happened? What did I, I guess just we do? Better head out then. Nina, could you go get the car from the lot? Uh, sorry. It's an artistic I shot. Can rest a little bit more. I feel a little dizzy. Are you all right? <laughs> I showered. Fine. I just need to rest. That's all. Why does he need to rest? You, you remember sure? the time he got wasted earlier in the morning? Yeah. You'd better hurry, though. And then he drank a bottle of water, oh, and then the day has continued. Huh? Did you hear something upstairs just now? Oh, there was really a scene I Somebody missed? Up there? How do I fix it? How, what did I do? I opened the door, and I walked in. The guy sat down the camera. I went downstairs. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> could have done this it's probably somewhere close by we can't There's stay the here knees. any longer is that my fault or the game's fault how would i have seen something i i just You're went right. the first door i saw i'll go get the car let's go i went in the i went in the first door i saw i saw it was a bathroom i thought i was doing the right thing Zaka tv team log 8 43 p.m Look, here's a shotgun you might not know it to look Briscoe at me, wasn't feeling well, so we left him at the lodge while well, Nina and as I went to get the car. This, we can feel safe, huh? The campground's natural beauty almost made me forget the horrible things that happened. Briscoe was pretty calm about finding his co-worker. Now that we're finally taking a break, think? I think the fatigue is catching maybe up with he's a Briscoe. Really cold guy. Or maybe he's just seen too much. Now it's 9 2 p.m. To it all. But wait a minute. You with the rain suppose. stopped, we walked through the woods. Do Nothing but darkness Briscoe and fog all around. Nah, he couldn't Nina be. seems to be, be, be beginning to lose her composure. Be really Maybe it's the fatigue and anxiety. To have a suspicion like that. The sentence didn't make sense. 9.21 p.m. Here it is. This is my car. We found the car on, in the parking lot and drove back to the Let's lodge where Briscoe was waiting. Briscoe was waiting for us. Sound design's on point. 9.37 p.m. It only took us a few minutes to drive back. A lot of plot going on right now. Everything was covered in thick fog. We could barely see even after a few yards ahead. To tell the truth, I still can't believe this is all happening. There weren't any signs of monsters and Nina, but who was driving, seemed to relax a little. The bigger things are. This place wasn't very newsworthy, scene. it's true. Almost but at least like we got the help game, Nina. You know? I'm sorry. If Briscoe's feeling better, we plan to head to the main Zaka TV headquarters in this car. Confused. Look, 9 40 p.m. We arrived at the lodge. <laughs> it's like a graphic novel with no graphics. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, there we are. Brisco. Hello, Brisco. Brisco, get the car. Brisco. Brisco, we got the car back. Brisco, do you still feel dizzy? No. Brisco. I'm fine now. Let's head out. Okay, it's fine. It's normal. What was that? Okay. Oh shoot my God. it, Nina. Nina, just Nina, shoot, John, Nina, shoot it. Nina, shoot it. God damn it! There. What a scoop! What a scoop! The shotgun seems to be working. Fire! Nina, shoot it. You did it! No, we didn't squat or anything. Ah, that's nothing compared to that bear I killed one time. What? That's nothing compared to that bear I killed. End scene. Ah, that thing wasn't so tough. <laughs> Don't let your gun down just yet. In the movie. <gasps> I can take this thing. Just get out of here. I'm all right. I've still got some bullets left. I'll make this thing blow up from inside. Nina! Look out! <laughs> <laughs> it literally blew up from the inside with her bullets. She had some bullets left and she blew it up from the inside. <laughs> Nina, no, Nina! Nina, no! <laughs> Zaka TV teen log, 9.43 p.m. We encountered a gigantic hey, monster at the lodge. Nina was killed last night. I would have gotten this far without Nina. I know, I miss her I'm too. Really grateful to her. There's a lot of erotic points. <laughs> now it's the next day, 6.45 a.m. We arrived at the main headquarters of Zaka TV. We're here. <laughs> as soon as we got thick here, to the too. chief's floor... We might run into some monsters, so watch out. We began filming. Forget Carly. Who's this? Well, well, it's Briscoe. And me. So you're all right, huh? Yeah. There it is. A lot of the stuff knees. Happened, there it is. There's the knees. Alive. Good to see you're all right. As you can see, too. the meter on the top is going all away from spooky, home. going Everybody towards erotic. But Jonesy wasn't there either. I'm worried. Not Jonesy. Jonesy. Our pet rabbit. Oh my oh, God. Okay. Well, I bet your family took him with them. So what about the chief? Did you already of course they have a lot her? of women. There's an erotic meter. No, I was just about it's to go in. It all fits together like that. a nice little puzzle. It's hard. Good timing. Game. Now we can go in together. Okay, fine. I guess we might as well. <laughs> My next victim. Good. Okay, now. Let's really let the chief have it this time. Hey, chief. We've really got to let her know in no uncertain <laughs> terms. Yeah, knock the it off, Chief. Go through hell out there when we're covering the news. It's a serious Especially business, Chief. This time. The government issued an evacuation advisory, but she sent us out anyway. A lot of our colleagues have disappeared. Just just poof. Some they of just them disappeared. Are dead. Like Pamela. Like Pamela. And Carly. I'd like to make that damn chief and go Anne. through the same thing poor Pamela went through. Yeah, well, you know. Damn straight. I'm getting so and many you know erotic points looking at these knees. She'd better make damn sure <laughs> she like doesn't a, go Like a big guy named Steve. Damn, yeah, Steve. <laughs> and she'd better let the ones who are left evacuate. 
I'm gonna make her promise. And you, you get it all on tape, all right? That's me. That's a pretty good idea for you, Briscoe. If you get it on tape, even the chief can't try to worm her way out of it later. You bastard! Whoops. Hey, wait a minute. Have you been filming my knees this whole time? <laughs> Yikes! Monsters! Pesky runts! Fire! I need your help. I can't open this door unless you come here. Take your time. Take your time. That was pretty close. That second one was pretty close. To get a good knee shot here. Did I, did I focus on something real quick? I guess not. Mm, I feel like I keep focusing on something. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go. This game fills a hole in the market, yes. <laughs> Erotic horror photography. Sexy beam. It, do I really go there? <laughs> Zip to Bear, go to that website. That's the sound effect I need. That's that I would like to have that. That's the same sound effect that played when that lady was tied up to that billiards table. It's a filing cabinet. Nothing looks especially useful. It's a filing cabinet. It contains many important looking documents. Who's that? It's like a real person. Oh! Ah, that's not a mouse, that's a real mouse! A rat. It's not a website? That's too bad. Should have been. Who do you suppose painted this? It's not signed! <laughs> the composition lacks something. It's not a very good painting. This game has been very critical of art. I think they're um, saying like something bigger. About... Something. <laughs> it's, it's coffee. It's ice cold now. <laughs> There's a new message on the answering machine. It seems to be from Robbie Adonis. That's it. We're not going to listen to it, though. It just, it just seems like it's from Robbie Adonis. I think the game is being critical of, like, you know, the video game industry and whatnot. The erotic meter was ironic. Okay, let's go in. All right. Excuse All right, Chief. Me. I'm Justine Rhodes. What's going on? What's this disturbance? And a camera, too. What's the meaning of this? I'm trying. I'm trying to be as creepy yes, as I can. something very special we'd like to discuss with you. Oh, you do, do you? And what might that be? Well, you see... Hey, what's the matter? Go ahead and tell her! Yes, well... Speak up now. It's your job to communicate, isn't it? Yes, you're right. Come to think of it, what do I want to go out of my way to make the chief mad at me for? It's all about getting a shot of the knees, you man. Do it. Hey, hold on. I don't want the chief mad at me. You were supposed to film the chief. You filmed what my are knees. You two whispering about? You're being very rude, you know. Uh, all right, fine. I'll say it then. 
Listen, Chief! Hey, Chief! Let's see. Your name was... Briscoe, wasn't it? Y y yes uh, that's right. Briscoe. Uh, gee. You know my name? Ooh. Wow. I'm Hey, Rusto. You have a reputation for doing fine work out in the field. You're the number one candidate for this year's Flair Award. Oh my god, the Flair Award. Am I really? And of course, I've been thinking about a suitable promotion for you. Wow. Uh, thank you very much, ma'am. Wait a minute. What happened to all that stuff you were saying? Oh! Right! Of course! Now, listen here, Chief. You deliberately ignored the government's evacuation advisory. You demanded that the news teams go out and cover stories. You unnecessarily put their lives in jeopardy. It's so bad, oh Needed. My. <laughs> I needed. I never demanded that the teams do anything. Just shut up and listen. Yeah, shut up. And listen good, Chief. Yeah, yeah. I, John. <laughs> Philip Briscoe, say this as a representative of all Zaka TV news. I, I thought he was going to start singing. <laughs> we refuse to get kicked around anymore. Wait, is he singing? My, my. This is <laughs> fascinating. Do go on. So this is what you're going to do, Chief. Find out what happened to every single news team member that disappeared. You want more knees? Make sure we all get safely evacuated. Get some knees in the shot. Do these <laughs> this is artistic. And you're gonna do them right away. You Wait. Got that. And I'm just looking at his knees. To and compensate the families of the team members who died. I want you to promise you're gonna do these things right here in front of this camera. <laughs> There's no need for that. Some nice man All needs. those things have already <laughs> been taken care of. Oh, they have? But, hey, wait just a minute. Show me you're taking this seriously. Don't delegate these things to your staff. I want you to take care of them yeah, personally. Yeah, take care of them personally, Bruce, idiot. Let me share something with you. Five hours from now... There'll be a military rescue transport at the airport. That's the military. Do you hear me? I negotiated for this with General Sanders personally, you see. Now, I hope you're beginning to understand. Oh, I see. A what? military transport, you say? What does that have to do with anything? Well, that's great. I guess somebody as important as you would have lots of high-level connections like that. Gee, I... Well... So, Briscoe, would you like to be on that transport? Well, sure. Of course. You want to get out of here? <laughs> oh, it is Colonel yes. Sanders. I'll do anything. Well... Then I have a little favor to ask. A favor, ma'am? What is it? One of our men is being held in detention in a certain place. What? Held in detention? What for? It's so bad. Please, like, why are they talking for like 30 the minutes of just dialogue Glenn Buckland, <laughs> about nothing? I Glenn Buckland? With the confusion of the evacuation advisory, I'm afraid he was left behind, still locked up. We just can't leave him there now, can we? I'd like you to go rescue him. Yo, Soda okay. Magoda, good morning. Every single employee is all right. Isn't that what you said? Well, yes. I like when the yes, game skips course. some of the dialogue. So, where is this guy being held? In a research room. At the Von Erich Library. Oh. A research room at the library. Got it. 
We'll get him out of there. And as I'm sure you've realized, this could be a big scoop. You know, a dramatic rescue scene. Make sure you get it all on tape. And as for your report... Yes, ma'am. Your work hasn't been quite up to snuff lately. Fortunately, the all the other, to be all the other reporters are dead. At all times, you know. Yes, of course. But I don't think... A pro never like makes zoom excuses in. for herself. Take the chance you're given and get it right. This next report will be your moment of truth. Yes, ma'am. I'll do the best job I possibly can. You do that. Very well. That will be all. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Excuse us. That was so Hell, long. That was pretty disappointing, Briscoe. I don't know what happened. I couldn't help it. It was like I couldn't go against her, you know? Didn't you feel the same way? Not especially. No. <laughs> At this particular moment in time, she just happens to be my boss. So what? Who knows? In five years, our positions could be reversed. Yes. Yeah, right. Man, you're really something. But never mind that. Let's get to that library. I got a lot of spooky points here, yeah. show that woman what kind of report I can make when I put my mind to it. Sure! Yeah! What was the point of that? Like, we went there to confront her about how she was, like, putting our lives in danger, and she put our lives in danger again. And now we're happy about it. Got a lot of erotic points there for looking at everyone's knees. That was a stupid, that was like an unnecessary longly long scene. That scene went on for a while. <laughs> More knee points, please. Zaka TV team log. So 8.15 a.m. That's going way too far. I wonder what for. It's simple. I bet he got fired. I'm writing this on the way in the van. That's right. After getting the I chief's assignment, we're, we're on our way to the Von Eric Library. Yeah? And then what? On the pretext the of Von Eric Library built in 1969 is about 30 minutes from the disturbed. headquarters by car. They shut him up in the library research room during his working hours. The fog is in still just words, as thick as ever, but at least it isn't storming anymore. Up with it and quit on his own. They do that kind of thing for those useless guys that just take up space. <laughs> we'll write more when we arrive at the library. That's outrageous. He can't be helped. Different people have different levels of ability, right? 8.32 a.m. But if we don't do a good job on this next report, the same thing might happen to us. Outside the Von Eric Library. that to happen. Look, we're almost at the library. Here we plan to free our detained colleague and make a report. I love these black screens with the white text. We don't have any recent info on the library, not even if there are monsters there or not. 30 minutes by car. From now on... Three, two, one. Good evening, everyone. We'll have this to do our Justine own Rowe. research at the I'm research library. I'm reporting to you now from in front of the Von Erich Library. Our news team has remained behind here in the city. 8.40 a.m. the mysterious fog to bring you the news. News reporter Apparently, Justine Rhodes. According to information we got just recently, Sound engineer a man jean philippe Briscoe. library who's been shut up for several days in a research room. Began shooting at the Von Erich Library. We are just about to go The team gets to Briscoe Road and I, yes. <laughs> you just said that. We're now here inside the library. There's no sign of anybody around. The staff is probably all evacuated already. We're now going to try and find the research room where the man is reportedly being held. Okay. There's something sandwiched between the books. It looks like a note. It turned out to be nothing. <laughs> this is a checkout desk. This is where books would ordinarily be borrowed from the library. This is not a good news As report. See, there's no one here now. <laughs> there's something sandwiched. It's a note. No way, it was actually nothing. 
It's a no! Please contact them by Friday. It says the note doesn't look like it was used? I, I don't know what that... As you can see, the library's interior is dim. The shelves are filled with row upon row of neat, orderly books. It's deadly quiet here. This is like the most boring news report. Here are stairs that lead to the basement. Let's go see what it looks like, shall we? Usually, this library is a place where many people gather to read and do research. Today, however, it's empty. <laughs> Did you ever see that episode of The Simpsons where Bart and Lisa are on the news team? <laughs> like, that's what the reporting reminds me of. <laughs> it's a large space. There don't appear to be any books in here. This room must be used for some other purpose. <laughs> You don't see anything that looks useful. Like, are, are these not books? Yeah, yeah, I forget the lines. Like, the train doesn't go by here much anymore. <laughs> the train starts going by. <laughs> there are no books down here. <laughs> what are you doing? Go away. <laughs> it's a list of all the people that checked out books. You don't need this. That's illegal, by the way. You can't... It's a violation of people's privacy. You don't see anything that will give you any leads. Please, I want to hear more of that sound effect. You don't see anything especially interesting. It's a catalog of all the books. You don't have time to be checking this out now, though. There's a note between the books. There's something behind you. Okay. There's something like wrong with this game. You don't see anything that looks useful. Yeah, you look for clues, but there actually are no clues. There's some kind of documents. They don't look like they'll be useful. I found like 12 different things that aren't useful down here. Oh, I got points coming. It seems to be a terminal for looking up books. But is it working? I got points coming my oh, way. Yes, it's working. <laughs> They're gonna look at this news the report screen. at the end of this and be, be terribly ashamed. That's not a book research terminal. It's a security camera monitor. Well, what a surprise. What appeared at first glance to be a research terminal was actually a surveillance system. It seems every room in the library can be observed right here on this monitor. There's just some guy sitting in the base of the library spying on people. Got it. <laughs> just some like creepy guy in the middle of the basement just watching. Just watching. Yes. That's a strange way to arrange the shelves. Why, yes. It is. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to zoom in. I messed up. Look, there's something there. It's a key. It's really small. I can't see it very well. It's a key. I'm telling you it's a key. Okay, do I have to zoom in on something here? Look, there's somebody there. There's a man in the small room at the back. Could this be the man that was locked in? He appears to be afraid of something. <laughs> wait, where'd that guy go? Oh, there, oh wait. Okay. Look, 
there's something written on the wall. 13 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 plus 1 plus 14 equals Michigan. E equals... <laughs> Wait, what? Am I supposed to know this? Oh. What's up with that clock? Yo, what's up with that clock? It only has an hour hand. Do I actually need to know that, that puzzle? Can you hear me? This is Justine Rhodes from Zaka TV. Can you hear me? Don't worry, we've come to get you out of there. If you can't hear me, please answer me. It's no use. I don't think you can hear me. Wow. It looks like it's electronically locked. Okay, I might need to know the number. But first, I need to go to the bathroom. You guys sit tight. More uh, Michigan report from hell when I come back from going to the bathroom. There it is. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Maybe we'll continue. Hey,
going on when I was gone. I'm back though. Hi. <laughs> Bagel, Bagel's trapped in the bathroom. I don't want to alarm you. Okay, I'm back. Hi. Thank you for sticking around, everyone. Uh, we're ready to get back into this game. This is Michigan Report from Hell. I, we gotta go get that key, right? So look at the key first. There's something on top of the shelves. Yes. But I can't reach it. Okay. Oh, a step ladder. Oh! <laughs> it must be for getting down books from up top. If I climb the step ladder, I'll see what's on top of the shelves. Really laid it out there. <laughs> oh, this is it! This is the shot! I'm not getting it. I'm not get I'm not getting the shot. As the game's gone on, I've I I've cared key. I've cared less and less about um to. like the morality of the stream. <laughs> uh there's something sandwiched between the books. It looks like a no. Zaka boy holds a camera, but apparently I didn't read the rest of it. Shit, what'd that say? What'd that just say? But apparently he What's the truth about Zaka Boy? What'd you say about Zaka Boy? There's a musty smell. Okay. He wants to be a reporter. Am I Zaka Boy? I wonder what the second floor looks like. Let's go and see, shall we? Nope. I've lost it. I've lost my moral scruples. And what we got? What we got here? These books appear to be famous literary works. Are they actually? Ghastly Gore. It's the only one I can read is the one that says Ghastly Gore. Out of print? Got another stepladder here. Oh, weren't these things arranged in a weird way? Like it makes like the letter E. It would be nice to relax and read some of these books, but there's no time for that now. Yeah, I like to... What's that sound? I like to balance my suspense with my eroticism. Huh? The book. It's floating? Too bad you don't have time to enjoy the books. It's one of them erotic libraries. What? 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 <laughs> Game, what are you telling us? <laughs> Where is it? There. Get, get it. All the books here are very old. Okay. Thank you, game. It opened. What is it? Oh, he's getting his mind blown. Yeah, that is the sound. <laughs> I wonder what this room's for. Who cares? It's a perfectly ordinary room. There's a desk and a few other things here and there. He's given a hell of a report. There seems to be some kind of note. <laughs> it says, the answer to the equation, the date on the calendar, the arrangement of the bookshelves, the broken clock. Okay. Dear D, I can't believe what happened. I think I've been taking the whole thing. I can't think of it. But your words of encouragement have helped me hang in there somehow. Thank you from M. Who's D? Who's M? Who's D? Who's M? Oh, just letting us read the thing again. 
Not so many knees. <laughs> the books are just full of knees. So, where do I use the equation? I mean, we know that the shells make the number three. I forget the date on the calendar. I don't know what that red thing in the middle is. Maybe if you get it in the middle, you get bonus points. I don't really know what the points are for anyway. Oh my god. Yikes! Monsters! Oh, come on. Shoot no. up! Shoot up! Okay. Hey, wait! Wait for me! Wait for me! I, I don't remember where the clock was. Maybe I can just see everything from the, uh... Oh. Hey, there's something on the floor. It's a videotape. Let's pick it up. You got a videotape. Was that not there before? I feel like I would have seen that. Need more knees. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know where to type in the equation. The calendar was here. It's the eighth. So we got three. Can someone just remember three and eight? The last clue is on the uh, clock. Oh, it's the freaking number pad. Okay. Thank you, Dreadfell. Yeah, I know how to use it. We've used it. A man, probably Glenn Buckland. <laughs> probably that idiot Glenn Buckland. Nine. Get out of here, Rust2. Three, eight, nine. What I don't understand is, um, this it says, five, A, B, C, D, E, E is the fifth. Uh-oh, we don't know the code. Uh-oh! <laughs> you can't figure out the code? I don't remember the order. You should try paying attention. Shut up. Haven't you been taking notes or anything? Shut up! Now, let's see. I think it was... One... Two... Three... <laughs> six... Or something like that. Is that... It's just a joke? <laughs> Yeah, E equals five. I don't know what order I'm supposed to do them in. Uh oh. Ah, I don't know the order. What? You. Shut up. I mean, I know it's these numbers. The lock is broken. You can't get in. Where did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What order did they tell me to do it in? Like, it was in... Like, I got all, I got all the numbers. Lowest to highest, maybe. The note in the room said... The anti <laughs> don't even load the room. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, it just said it. The answer to the equation is the first one. Five. Eight. Three. Nine. Okay. Five, eight, three, nine. Five, eight, three, five, eight, three, nine. Five, eight, three, nine. Five, eight, three, nine. Five, eight, three, nine. 
Back down we go. <laughs> the only puzzle in the game. <laughs> and I'm a little confused. <laughs> Puzzle. I'm Justine Rhodes from Zaka TV. We came to rescue you. Glenn's dead. Ah! Ah! He's been killed. Another monster, maybe? Look! Over there! It's an air vent. A monster must have gotten in through there and attacked this guy. The worst has happened. A monster. It seems a monster found its way inside here. We at Zaka TV tried to get the door open as quickly as possible to rescue him. But unfortunately, when we arrived, he had already been killed in the horrible way you see here. The monster probably came in through the air vent, killed the man, and then vanished. Our news team is now in danger too. I think we'd better leave this place at once. This has been Justine Rhodes. I'm getting a good knee shot right here. Von Eric Library. Okay, that was good. Of course. Even the chief can possibly find anything to complain about with that. She'll love it. Oh, I bet she will. <laughs> what with the gross footage and all. Hey, wait a minute. Is that this guy's notebook? Oh, let's read we it. Might as well film this while we're at it. August 23rd. That was yesterday or today? I've been locked up here for three days now. Tomorrow, the 24th, is the day I'm supposed to go club gotchi. I've got to get out of here. I've got to meet with Dr. O'Connor or my whole plan will be ruined. Hmm. What? I bet he was fired. There's something written under today's date. What does it say? He was supposed to meet a Dr. O'Connor at club gochi today. Gochi. I wonder who this Dr. O'Connor is. How should I know? But I bet he knows the truth behind this mysterious fog and the monsters. <laughs> So you want to go there? Of course. It's a big scoop. It's a big scoop. Got to go to Club Gochi. It's a big scoop. Ah, it's a lot of erotic. A hundred immoral. What is that? What is immoral? Is that good? Do you want immoral? Oh, chips. The game continues, of course. This is a complete playthrough. Zaka TV team log. 10.08 a.m. You're really fired up, aren't you, Justine? Of course. I'd love to get the scoop and see what the I'm chief writing has this to on the way it. in the van. Besides, besides what? I want to Following up on the latest information we got, us, we're headed south of the downtown area. Happen, letting so many people die. Yeah, I could we're going to Club Gachi in the outskirts of the Look, town where Dr. O'Connor is supposed Gucci to be. Now. Complete. Yeah, complete. <laughs> there isn't a soul in sight. It's hard to believe this used to be a lively area. Ten sixteen AM <laughs> Three, two News reporter. Justine Good evening, Rhodes. Everyone. This is Justine Rhodes. Following up on our leads, really, our Zara? news team has been Sound engineer Jean Philippe Briscoe. A man who might know what's behind the tragedies that I've been shooting at Club Gochi with the above team. Club Gochi. Gochi. Just what kind of man is this Dr. O'Connor? And does he know the truth? Under circumstances, we couldn't find out anything else about Dr. O'Connor. I feel like I've gotten too much spooky, though. And also, under the circumstance, we're not really sure if he's going to be here or not. Since everyone's dying, we don't know if he's actually going to be here. Since we met with the chief, we As haven't had any resources see, to carry out well-planned coverage. Club Gochi. We can't see anything. 10.21 a.m. Hey, guys! What are we going to do? I know we do. We can't film like this. can we turn on the lights? Hold we on. entered Club I'll Gochi, but because switch. it's in a basement, no natural light was getting in. Oh, here it is. Adjusting the sensitivity on the camera oh, did no good. It was it too dark like to film. Is off. Well, turn it it's back a lot of on, text. Then. Where is this stupid breaker? How should I know? Could Dr. O'Connor really be in here in this darkness? darkness? Well, what are we going to do? Hmm. 
let's see. Uh, I think there was a jump Not being able to shoot, we suspended reporting. Maybe we can find an infrared unit for the camera there. Junk shop, huh? Okay, let's go find this junk shop then. Get in, everybody. We need an infrared unit for the camera if we want to continue coverage. We really have to go to another building before we can go to this building? And you watch them just like there's we actually don't get to see the junk shop it's just all text the and then we go back 10 27 a.m the owner was bragging they have frisco knows his way around this area very well sounds like this guy likes to exaggerate a little don't you think he led us through a oh, maze on. of back alleys to a that. junk shop named shakedown checking the place out right the fog here in the outskirts seems even thicker in places than it does in the city is that the place yeah that's right 10 43 a.m do you really think they'll have an infrared unit for the camera there we We're here we looking left. for an infrared unit. We'll start filming too, just in case. Yeah, it's like a non-visual novel. It's kind of dirty in here. It's a junk shop. Idiot. Guns. Look, Briscoe. With a powerful gun like one of these, we wouldn't have any trouble with monsters. Nah, Take the gun. Forget it. Take a closer look. They're just fakes. Oh. Fakes? But selling fake guns that look real is illegal. <laughs> is it? <laughs> They're made in Japan. Oh. They smuggle them in. Ooh. States. They're smuggling in fake Japanese guns. <laughs> They're antennas and tuners for radios. What is this? What's we that cat? We don't need anything like that right now. We got illegal fake Japanese guns here. Huh? Hmm. Must be imagining things. That's all we're gonna say about that. Okay. Nothing but monitors. Guess they carry a lot of audiovisual equipment. Okay. Hey, What's all these noises? Did you hear something just now? You must be imagining things, Briscoe. There's a large wooden crate here. It must have been used to ship goods in. <laughs> Why? What is the laughing about? That's been like every level. They've got all kinds of stuff, huh? They sure do. It's even illegal. Sitting right out in plain sight. Yep. Yep, they sure do. The door is warped. You'll never open it. Wait. Okay. I can still interact with it, which makes me think I can open it. Let the reporter take care of opening doors. I thought she was here. Oh. Why are you standing here? What do you know about where you're standing? There's a go- I haven't seen any ghosts. Oh, there was that ghost boy. <laughs> Other than ghost boy, I haven't seen any ghosts. Why is she just standing here? I can't open the door unless she, uh... Walks to the door. Oh, there's a key. Over here. Oh, there's a key. Hey, you, pick up that key. It's there it is, Bagel. Door. Could it be this door? Could it be the only door? Oh, there's a key. It's no use. It won't open. Oh. How about this door? Oh, that's not even a door. That's just that thing. Wait, did we use, did we actually use the key? On closer inspection, you see that the door doesn't even have a lock on it. Maybe the door just isn't hanging properly? What? Okay. The door isn't hanging proper. Do I have to fix that? Do I need that drill that's right here? No. They're computer tower cases. Oh my god, yeah, they are. 
There's a large group crate here. It must have been used to ship goods in. Okay. Wait, not yet. No, don't we open that door. Back without an infrared unit. Oh my god. We won't okay. be able to film anything. Okay, I got you. I got you. Thank you. I'm just trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> the door is not hanging properly. Exciting. Okay. How do I open the door? Like, I don't understand what I'm trying to accomplish. That's just that, isn't it? Oh, It'd God! It'd be nice if we could get into the storeroom. I'll try using that key I just picked up. I didn't even... Like, I tried to click that door and I kept clicking the other thing. I had to stand in this corner. Okay, we're in the storeroom. Yuck! It's moldy and dusty. This is just gross. Gotta be an infrared around here I saw him hiding behind the boxes. I thought it was the boss's kid or something. Yikes! What the hell? <laughs> There's something here. It's a slip. Destination. Shakedown. Delivered. Video camera infrared unit. Three. These items were shipped in special wooden crates. There isn't anything else in here. What about this? Isn't there anything good in here? Sorry. I think their designer bags are sold out. Don't be offensive. Um, <laughs> that was so funny. You're just hiding back there. So it just says there's a slip here and that there's something in the crates. Which we have found the crates, but we can't open them. There's a door that's not hanging properly. And there was like an adult man hiding behind some boxes that we have that we have spooked out of his hiding place. The lid is nailed tightly shut. It doesn't look like it can be opened, but maybe it was some kind of impact. Oh. Like that? But of course. There's nothing in it. So is this to teach me that I can just knock into boxes? Okay. Um, that's just a slip. She's not opening the door, so I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. That was really funny when that guy was behind there. <laughs> I can't go into it. Do something, you guys. I'm in the world's tiniest room, and I'm confused. This is the only thing I can interact with. It just says that there's some infrared things in the uh, crates. Should I, yeah, I can just start filming some knees here. Yeah. I actually can, but we're not going to. I'm running out of time. Um, what, what am I trying to accomplish? Okay. All the uh, sounds of the uh, like people like rustling around make me feel like someone someone is here with me. I don't know what I'm doing. I I knocked the box open. Is that not enough?
Good. Good. What is this? Hey, isn't this it? Why did that work? Yeah, an infrared unit. All we have to is do that is red like her health? Camera, and we'll be able to shoot in the dark. Now I can finally make my report. Great, that's it then. Yes, let's hurry back to Club Gochi. What was the point of this entire like little episode here in the junk shop? It, the junk shop kind of sucked. That, I felt like that shouldn't have worked. The red is your immoral points. Oh, for hitting her. Is that it? Because I hit her? Zaka TV team log. 824. Does that infrared unit look 11, like it's going to work? It should be fine. We Pass returned to Klongachi. I'm glad it wasn't all just a waste of time. We're nearly this there. This time, it was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> All of my I'll write more again ones. later. I feel like that was a waste of time. I feel like that did not have to happen. Oh, so Take spooky. Take around, viewers. Ordinarily overflowing with great crowds of young people. Club Gochi is now, as you can see, completely quiet. With the power turned off inside the building, we can't film right now with an ordinary camera. The images you are looking at now are being shot with an infrared camera. They're really hyping this infrared camera. We'll now use this infrared camera to locate and restore power to the building. After that, we will try to find and talk to the man named Dr. O'Connor. <laughs> that is hurting her. Or I'm getting immoral okay, or something. that was good. You conveyed a real sense of tension there. Great report. <laughs> Excellent Thanks, camera Christo. angle on her knees. That was nice of you to Thank say. Thank you. Now then. It's pitch black beyond this point, so we won't be able to go with you. What? You've got the infrared, so you're the only one who will be able to see anything. Okay. There should be a main power breaker somewhere in the building. You've got to find it, okay? All right. All you have to do is switch the breaker on, and that ought to restore power to the building. There's something on the other side, but you can't do something to it. Yeah, Club uh, Goshi is uh, kind of just like a creepy warehouse. <laughs> Okay, well, this was a big fat dead end. Very hard to see. Very hard to see what I'm looking at. Yeah, I, I bet there's not going to be any doors. My only weakness, doors. Oh, am I going to have to... Eh, it sucks. What did I just see? Why did I... What was I just focusing on? You better find that breaker first. <laughs> no. Um. Oh wait, was there a hole in the fence up there? I didn't even see it. I was gonna say, I feel like I have to go back up there. Is it easier for you to see than for me to see? <laughs> Oh, yeah. If, what happens if I fall? I can't. I literally, it won't let me fall. It will not let me fall. <laughs> I was gonna say, this game like doesn't let you die. It lets everyone else die and then it just keeps on going. Am I somewhere different? think so. Oh! I'm sorry, how were you able to open that door? 
videotape in a place like this. What do you do with these videotapes? <laughs> of course, you have to put down the entire camera to pick up the videotape. Great. You'd better pick it up. I, I did. What? How do I look at it? Now, now what am I doing? I, I, there's no way I came in here just for a videotape, is there? The only reason I opened this door was to snag a videotape? I can't interact with anything else except this. Huh. Yeah, I opened the door. So, oh, so it's like, it, did it increase my time? I guess that makes sense. I'm going to be excited when we turn the lights on. This must be the breaker. Yeah, put the camera down. We had to go through a lot of trouble to get that infrared thing. Like, couldn't we have just gotten a flashlight? The lights came on. You did it! Did it! <laughs> you did it! I feel like there's so many opportunities in this game where the game, like, could have been spookier had it wanted to be. Who's this? <laughs> and it just, like, doesn't do it for whatever reason. Look at that guy. Like, there's nothing jumping out, there's nothing chasing me. <laughs> there, there's like not a whole lot going on in this game. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. Now we can pick up the report again. <laughs> Good job. Okay, here we go. Welcome back. On air. Us. Is this live? Thanks to the efforts of our news team, this is a live to restore like shooting to the building. We will now investigate the interior of Club Gochi. As you can see, Club Gochi is designed to look like a gigantic prison cell. Entirely enclosed in steel bars, it's rather disconcerting to be inside. But these days, Club Gochi is a popular night spot with a hip young crowd. Okay. This is the entrance. It doesn't look like anybody will be getting carded today. <laughs> <laughs> this is the dance floor. Ordinarily, this floor would be pulsating with the vibrations of loud dance music. But as you can see, it's entirely solid now. All the reporting is like this. Generally, there's people here, but right now it's full of dead bodies. <laughs> Michigan, report from hell. Oh, we got a lot of stuff. Various bottles line the shelves. Okay. Knock them over. put more money than they should have into this. What am I doing? Hi! Hey! How you doing? Very close to me, sir. There's nothing in this whole room. I mean, there's, there's many items in that room that look like you should interact with them, but you can interact with none of them. Oh, right, that dude. Okay. Yeah, they translated it, yeah. This is a stage. There's some equipment set up for the DJ. Generally, music would be playing here. But right now, it's silent. The school game was great. What you looking at? What are you looking at? What are you doing? Do we know there's a guy in here, you know? What are you doing? 
No, don't go that way. <laughs> yeah, this guy's kind of tough. I don't understand what she's doing right now. Huh? Huh? Just my imagination. What? <laughs> I want you to open this door. I'm physically incapable of opening doors. I need you to open this door. But you're standing over here. It's 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 bottles. This is the bar. Oh my god. Okay. As you can see, they have a large assortment of liquor, wine, and beer. Don't take a right. Uh, why are we doing a full report on an empty uh, club in the middle of like this demons invading room. Chicago? This is where they control the sound throughout the club by using this computerized system. Why are we doing this? Why are we giving everyone a tour of Club Gochi? No, don't go back to the bar! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Could that room be on the stage be the VIP room? I don't know! Open it! Ah, she's doing it. Hi. This is a VIP room. Only the chosen few are allowed to enter. The chosen the few. The holiest ground, one could say. Could the man named Dr. O'Connor be inside this room? Dr. O'Connor, are you here? Yup. <laughs> Yo, yeah, yep, I've been here the whole time. Dr. O'Connor? Look at him. Yes. Dr. O'Connor, yes. He's here. You're Dr. O'Connor, aren't you? What's this? <laughs> Who are you people? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. where'd you guys come from? That camera. I'm Justine Rhodes from Zaka TV. Dr. O'Connor, would you allow us to interview you? What in the world are you talking about? You're making absolutely no sense. Dr. O'Connor, we have reason to believe that you know what is behind this mysterious fog. Yeah. It is causing the gruesome monster attacks all over Chicago. We want to hear the truth directly from you. I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. Why on earth are you bothering me? You want to deal with that fog this and is demons, completely dude. Outrageous. You were supposed to meet a man named Glenn Buckland here, weren't you? Huh? How did you know that? Did you talk to him? Glenn Buckland's dead. Why isn't Glenn here? He's dead. What? Glenn Buckland died today. He was killed by a monster. He was attacked in the basement of the library. We tried to save him, but... I but... See. And you want to know more about what killed him, is that it? What's Siren? I've never heard so of it, Chips. Or maybe I've heard of it and you? I forgot. I'll tell you about it. This is then. a great point of view. I'm getting erotic points from this point of view. Killed him so I'm, that's why I'm doing this. The military. The government. And see, guys? This is what I've been Zaka saying. Group. This is what I've what been saying. What are you saying. trying to say? That the military, the government, and Zaka group are behind yep. everything that's been going on? <laughs> exactly what I'm trying to say, trying too. Trying to use that brain of yours, are you? Zaka group is a huge enterprise made up of a parent company and some 1,300 subsidiaries. You guys paying attention? Wake up. Did you ever stop to wonder how it got so big? What? Don't try to change the subject. I brought it up multiple times, Diggle. DNA. That's how. You just don't listen, do you? Okay, okay. So what about this DNA? <laughs> I see TV turns even the brains of those who appear on it to mush. 
you must nice. Oh, near dog, know nice. Zaka Group has a patent on its DNA manipulation technology. Oops. If all you can do is judge people on their outward appearance, that's sad. Yeah. But I'm sure your tiny brain has never imagined what Zaka could do with that technology. That's a trouble with scientists. Hey, JW. They never just come right out and say things. Welcome to Michigan. <laughs> Report from hell. Soon you humans won't be enjoying such superior attitudes You Wait, anymore. you humans? Now wait a minute. you're just talking nonsense. Wait a minute. There's definitely something What do you mean, you? you humans? All right, all right. Calm down, both of you. I'm sorry, Dr. O'Connor. Why don't we all have a drink? We can talk again after we've had a chance Let's to Let's get drunk. <laughs> Why do all of you turn to alcohol in every situation? Are we, fi are we learning, guys? Usually, you hold yourselves in check. The government, the military, the media. You alcohol as a crutch and expect alcohol. It to solve all of your problems. Are you connecting the dots yet? Isn't it all rather ridiculous? Connecting them? Besides, my body can't process alcohol anymore. In the end, no matter what I tell you, it's not like it'll save you from getting infected. What is this lunatic talking about? You be quiet, Briscoe. Dr. O'Connor, what do you mean by infected? The virus. The virus, the virus? you idiot. Virus? What virus? Is your head an empty shell as well? The virus is what's behind everything that's been going on here in the city. You've seen them, haven't you? The people being transformed. Now hold on one minute. Are you saying people are turning into monsters because of a virus? <laughs> I like now I like how a game beginning that has terrible off. voice acting and, and no like weapons? It, no animations what decide to rely ex, like mostly on scenes built around voice acting purpose? and animations like Why would what's the what's the worst that? part of the game like the, like the, the the dialogue okay let's make like a majority of the game just them weapon. talking <laughs> the enemies are infected by the virus and they turn into monsters and start killing each other it's a great shot it's a hell of a it's shot beauty is in its efficiency wouldn't you agree it's just saying, yeah, they're not saying anything. They just keep but saying I'm the same stuff over and over again. This virus has been a failure. Those infected can't be controlled, and their sense organs degenerate. Look at that. Max eroticism they on the shot. They display excessive reactions to loud noises, which attract them. They just don't make good weapons. How did the virus get spread all over Chicago? I don't know. I don't know. Come to think of it, a small unidentified plane crashed into Lake Michigan a week ago. Everyone drank it. Do you think that could have been? Yes. It yeah, very I know. Well I see Cal. Are you seeing this? Don't tell me you don't have a way to stop the spread and development of this virus. This guy is completely bonkers. Of course, there's a way. When making a virus, you obviously want to make a vaccine at the same time. <laughs> this vaccine prevents people from getting infected in the first place. <laughs> For those who have already turned into monsters, the vaccine euthanizes like, them mercifully. When, when people are trying to like, talk about like the that, history of this virus outbreak, the only video footage is going to be this. Carried off most of the vaccine. <laughs> this horrible they travesty. That killed like I think they said that killed like, like most of Chicago. The only thing they can watch is this pervert. Joint research, but they stole it all without contributing a thing. That's why I who had a thing for knees. The military. This guy is insane. Hey, give us that medicine. There's still time to save everybody. <laughs> what? Why do you humans <laughs> always insist on remaining human? <laughs> What's the matter? <clears throat> He's a demon. It looks like the symptoms of my infection are beginning to show. I, I, I have the vaccine right here. Then why don't you take it? I, I don't want it. No, I don't want to do that. Unfortunately... 
can't be used in its current form. Oh, no. So what are we supposed to do? Oh, we gotta go to some other place now. <laughs> why? Why do you want to know? You want to play hero? <laughs> Just tell us. What can we do? <laughs> the virus I created. It's now here. Inside my own body. It's wonderful. A new form of life. And <laughs> It's really starting to lose it. This guy is nuts! Get this on camera. I'll make a report. I'm getting it all. I got it. I got the shot. The man who created the virus to turn people into monsters is turning into a monster himself. <laughs> why did this man create such a virus? And why is he allowing it to overpower his own body now? Could it be that the guilt he carries inside himself for his sins is making him do it? Hey! That's enough! Run already! Am I okay? Wait, did that thing just eat me? Oh. The music is not appropriate. Um. Hey, we can get him with this. Yeah, use the alcohol, obviously. It won't quite be the merciful euthanization he mentioned, though. If you could make it drink this. God damn it, I'm gonna blow it. How do I make him drink the alcohol? I don't even know what's going on. Let the reporter take care of the doors, idiot. It won't let me back here. I, I gotta get the monster drunk. Yeah, the game's terrible. Um, I'm blowing it. How do I get him to drink the liquor? I can't, it won't let me. Do I need to like bait an attack? I don't know how to. It's on me, O'Connor. Oh. Are you all right? God damn it! Who wants to die in a place like this? You can die? If I am at the infrared camera part, I'm gonna freak out. I was a fool. I didn't even know you could die in this game. I can't. Oh, I don't know if I can take this. Does that infrared unit look like it's going to work? It should be. Take. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> okay. Um. Ugh, fuck. No. No, we have to. We have to. It's fine. 
Like, 90% of it was just dialogue that we can skip. It's fine. Very unhappy, though. Very, very unhappy. I can't believe it's like, you died. Have fun doing this party. Like, wh what terrible game design this is. Yeah, I know what I'm supposed to do now. I, I still think I needed to get his mouth open. Did I need to get his mouth open, or did I just have to have him throw alcohol at it? I, I guess I'm not positive about that. I have to grab the videotape because of reasons. That's terrible. Tristan, hi. How are you doing, Tristan? Happy Saturday. I don't have Siren ready. I don't know what that is, Chips. Other than the fact that you've been telling me about it multiple times, apparently. Okay. Yeah, how are you doing, Tristan? Welcome to Michigan. Report from hell. This game is great. Do I really need to turn on the speakers? I thought, I mean, I went into the speaker room and it didn't work. Unless I just missed it. I don't have that lined up, Chips. I don't even know. Is it on PS2? You want to hear the music? <laughs> oh, <laughs> when I turn on the speakers. Yes. The lights came on. The lights came on. Look how you can see the guy up here, too. <laughs> Are you drunk? Wait, are you drunk, Chips? I was gonna say it's early, but it's not early where you are. <laughs> Hi, I'm back. Skip, 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 skip. We still gotta wait for her to walk around, though. is designed to look like a gigantic prison cell. Entirely enclosed in steel bars, it's rather disconcerting to be inside. Here, guys, one sec. I gotta go to the bathroom again because I drank too much coffee. But these Listen days, to her. Club Gucci is a popular night spot with a hip young crowd. Sorry I left you alone with the game. <laughs> All crazy, there are awkward silence going on right now. <laughs> Whoopsie deuce. This is the entrance. It doesn't look um, like I died anybody will be getting carded today. I died this at one point. This is the dance floor. Ordinarily, this floor would be pulsating with the vibrations of lap. Skip. So we've already done this. We, we, we've already done this. We've died. Because I'm an idiot. This is... And I will try to use the speakers the next time. Talk. I don't, under, I like don't understand this game. Like she just needed to stand there for a second. I don't know, I don't think we've seen Joy today. Oh, and I had all those erotic points too. God damn it. I blew all the eroticism. We beat that game, Shark Balls! Yeah, I mean, the game even goes out of its way to point out the sound equipment here, I guess. Yeah, and we're not going to get it back because we're going to skip everything. I just, I can't get over the fact that, like, so much of this game is just, like, dialogue. And the dialogue is so bad. We're never going to get the erotic ending now. Could that 
room. Yes. Okay. If this I die on this boss room. again, I'm gonna freak out. Hello. Dr. O'Connor? Dr. O'Connor? Like how he like doesn't say anything for a while. Are we back? <laughs> a lot of fuzzy. Hey! Hey! Okay, we're back. Hey! Woo. That was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, oh, that sucked. I can't believe we died. Okay. Is that, is that good? Go. Is this working or do I need to use the speakers? Shouldn't she be doing that when the mouth is open? Yo, hey! Cryopsichi! <laughs> How are you? Damn, this guy has some bad drinking habits. Keep away! I, I imagine, um, Swizzlefish, this is exactly what you thought the music was gonna sound like. I, like, that was, because that's kind of how I pictured that it was going to sound, too. Uh, no eroticism. What are you going to do? Can't win them all. Eurotech, not just, that's just, that's not just any techno. That's fine European techno. <laughs> so, what happened to that scene? We chucked alcohol at him, and then we made him eat a speaker, and he died. Another non graphic novel moment. 8 24, 11.58 a.m. I'm well, writing this on the way to? in the van. <laughs> if we go right, it'll take us to the Adonis forest. hasn't been Adonis heard from since be. he left headquarters if to cover a left, story. It's Grant Park Station. We might find the vaccine. He was supposedly on his way to the forest I'm building. About Adonis. Let's go to the forest building. Okay. According to Dr. O'Connor, the military is, is involved in what's been happening. Maybe Adonis has begun to uncover building. the truth. I hope Adonis is all right. <laughs> this Zaka TV news team decided to pursue the truth. <laughs> I'm going to get to the bottom of this. As you can see, we're here now inside forest building. As you can tell, this is a forest building. It seems to have escaped monster attack for now. Nothing seems to be out of place here. Let's get a quick look at those knees. Let's go upstairs. Okay. Come on, give me give me a demon in the elevator. Nothing. Get in. Nothing in the elevator. Connor says the military is connected to the government somehow. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Just my imagination. Is that demon? No, I'd probably imagine it. I'm just in a city infected by demons. There's probably nothing. Oh, here we go. Here's the action I crave. Clicking on monsters to make her shoot them. Don't worry. He's right there. Oh, good. I never could have shot him without that. Yeah, I got, all, I got the view from the knees. Look at this. Look at that. Look at how did this not win game of the year? Come on. Come on! See, she, like they run out of breath so quickly for the erotic points. The 
There's a door here. Let's go in. What are we doing here? Oh. The locker doors don't fit right. If you can't get them open, try giving them a whack. Apparently that wasn't enough force. The doors didn't budge. Oh yeah? Really charge it up. Okay, it seems like there's a lot of nothing in here. Oh, there was a key, I guess. Doing good. <laughs> hey, Rhombus. There's a key here. I wonder what it's for. <laughs> Probably for... Yikes. Oh! Get away! So many monsters. Let the reporter take care of doors. That's like my least favorite message. Wait, what? Play a little song? You're gonna get a kebab. All right, have fun getting a kebab. I don't know if I've ever eaten a kebab. You gonna open this door? Do I have to, do I have to whack you? She's stuck again. Huh? Just my what? imagination? What? What was that? Open the door. No, don't go back! Uh. Oh, do you want to leave the room? Oh, she wanted to leave. That's my fault. I don't think I've ever had a kebab. Where would I buy a kebab from? Nope, she's going this way. It's like my least favorite message. Like you can't open the door because the reporter isn't standing close enough to it yet. There's a door here. It opened. It is Noxina. Oh my god, it opened. This looks like a nice place. There's nothing in this room. There's a door here. No good. It doesn't look like the key we have will open it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um. Do we leave? <laughs> Shut up. She's just standing there. She's just standing inside the table. I, uh, I don't know what you want. I, I don't know what she wants. Oh, oh, there's a oh, god damn it! Look, there's something there. I can't really see it. It's so small. Yep. This is normal. It's the normal, this is a normal idea for a video game. It's the key to some door. I wonder what door. Yeah, we're, no, we're doing very good. We're doing very well right now. This is the game I always wanted to play There's and I never knew here. it. It opened. Oh my God. The key we found next to the locked door opened the door. Oh! It's Adonis! What are you doing hiding in there? Yo, Adonis, what's up? What are you talking about? We came looking for you, man! Idiots! I told you to stay away! Huh?
Oh no, it's Adonis. <laughs> and he's a demon. How terrifying. Oh, okay. Shoot it! Shoot it! What the hell are you saying? Adonis is our colleague! We can't kill Adonis, he's our friend. Forgive me! Okay, let me shoot him. Adonis! This is the gameplay. It's no use! The pistol won't work! Run! Wow, we did really good. <laughs> yeah, he waited until we were there to transform. <laughs> Gameplay. Like, you just, like, look at the thing and press A, and then, like, you wait for her to shoot. Oh, I'm gonna write my diary real quick. I'm really good, Rusty, thank you. Hell of a game, this game. Hell of a game. 12.37 p.m. Poor Adonis. He was a really great sound guy. I miss Adonis. He joined I'm writing this on the way in the van. But I had a lot of respect for him. We went there to save him, but we... We've all been risking our lives to report the news under very dangerous conditions. God damn it! I feel so empty. After we learned at Club Gachi, now I know why I never... To Grand Park Station. Why I've been having such a bad feeling. While Briscoe Look, was driving us to the station... Like TV news van. There might be some survivors in it. Let's check it out. We spotted a news van from our own office. There's nobody in it. It looked like it had been abandoned. Don't show me, just tell me. Have a look at this, viewers. We found a news van we believe our Zaka TV colleagues were in. Africa was a fantastic game. We will now game. check for survivors. I don't see anybody in the driver's seat. Maybe somebody is in the Began back looking of the around van. the above team. Let's go find out. Man, What's the Sierra this Games bundle? Awful. It doesn't look like there are any survivors. No, huh? There well, it is. I guess we'd better get to the station. Yeah, there's a sound engineer. Huh? Did you hear that? Oh, this is just like Chicago, it yeah. It's like some kind of beast roaring. It might be a monster. Might be. Let's hurry up and get out of here. Come on. That monster sound might be coming from a monster in the city that's infected by monsters. What was in the Sierra Games bundle? Oh, I'm afraid to play King's Quest. Isn't that game kind of baffling? You know, now that I think about it, there are still a lot of things we don't know. 12.53 p.m. How does the infection spread? Considering this the, how quickly it happens, I on the way to Grand Park Station. The if that's true, then there's Risco a has theory. we've all already If the virus infected. is being spread through the fog, then yes. anyone can get it. I guess we better steal ourselves for the worst. We might even be we infected even with it already. I thought we decided to spread through the water. Infected. Hearing that the vaccine might be there, we're on our way to Great Park True. Station. I guess that means it's different with each person. We'll continue to cover the news, but getting that vaccine is the number one priority. Um, right. I've looked into the Police Quest games. At the we're all beginning to get the feeling of impatience that we just can't explain. I just can't explain why I'm so impatient about stopping the spread of the demon virus. I don't know, just something, just something in me, I don't know. Good evening. This is Justine Rhodes. Our news team went to Club Gochi and met with Dr. O'Connor, a biotech researcher. We learned that the cause of the tragedy now occurring in Chicago is a new bioweapon developed by the military in Zaka Group. There is a vaccine that can save people from the terror of the virus. <clears throat> it could be located somewhere here in Grant Park Station. Is this a real place in Chicago? The question is, will we be able to find it? Biotech. This is a ticket gate. Not interesting. Ordinarily, <laughs> many people will be passing through these This is like every friggin' scene. However, they're it not passing now, now because everyone's dead because of the demon invasion. This is the train. Normally, there's trains on it, but there's not trains today because of the demons. Here's the ice cream stand. Normally, people are eating ice cream, but they're not doing it now because everyone's dead. <laughs> a 
That's a lot of, that's a lot of, st yeah, we could have a lot of games. There's a train stopped at the platform. Normally Let's the trains would be look. moving. <laughs> oh, she's booking it. Hey, there's a train down there. Let's go look at it. Sprints over to blood. They look like some kind of research documents. Cultivating anti-gagney cells. Anti-gagney cells can be cultivated at room temperature. However, a culture medium of the following ingredients is required. God damn it. Sodium chloride. Potassium chloride. Magnesium chloride. Anti-gagney cells can be cultivated successfully. I didn't read the rest. viewers this car looks like it might have been used for transporting some kind of animals these appear to be cages they're empty now however a part of one of the cages is destroyed oh my god who we got over there Oh, good. More re research documents. The, the Gagney virus animal experiments. Gagney virus is administered to lab subjects. Subjects were then observed. Stage one. No particular outward change is discernible. No noticeable rise in body temperature. Actions, however, appear to be sluggish. Stage two. Subjects spew leech-like objects looking almost like pieces of meat. Possibly the virus developed inside the body. Stage three. The bodies of the subjects begin to change dramatically as if becoming new life forms. As their bodies change, they become more aggressive. They also become more sensitive to nearby sounds. We saw that. It ends here abruptly. The rest is missing. Quick, let's run. Swizzlefish. I think I looked that up a year ago and then I got scared because I never had the actual discs. But now with the discs, I won't be afraid to use it. But um, it also might be something I don't, I haven't seen. So send it to me or something. Why did we stop here? Nope, okay. <laughs> I don't know, she just takes off. She just knows exactly where she needs to be. I saw a corpse over here. With some uh, beautiful, beautiful research notes. All right, lock on. This level is terrible. <laughs> ah! Ah, yucky! They look like some sort of research documents. They have top secret stamped on them. Don't look at this. Vaccine culture for the Gagney virus. Anti-Gagney cells hereafter called anti-G cells are mutated Gagney cells. They have a high immunity to the Gagney virus. Anti-G cells are artificially created T cells administering the vaccine. To prevent infection, introduce the anti-G cells into the bloodstream via injection. If the subject has already been infected, the administration is difficult with a needle. Special vaccine ammo can be loaded into a handgun and administered from a distance. But of course, a dead body. Could it be one of Dr. O'Connor's underlings? Oh my god. Where the hell is she going? The G cell is just a different T cell. You dummy. <laughs> the government. The military. Zika boy. Has it all fit together? Now I don't know where she is. God damn. Now I don't know where she went now. She was so darn quick and I lost her. Oh, God damn it. Wait. It's a turnstile. It doesn't work. It must be broken. Horror!
Yeah, and, and what? You looked it up and what? It turned out Bagel was right. Huh. Swizzlefish. Interesting. I now have to search the entire level because I don't know where she just went. You looked it up and I was right. Does anyone know where she went? <laughs> she started running away far too quickly for me to keep up with her. This sucks. It's totally true, I wouldn't lie. She could be on the other side. I don't know where she went. She just bolted. Yeah, if they didn't say it was a turnstile, I wouldn't have known it was a turnstile. Ah, Swizzlefish, my cape's starting to stink. Like, I gotta wash it, but I don't know if I can. Like, this doesn't look like it, like, goes in a washing machine. Yeah, this is a terrible layout. Is, wait, is that her? It's filled with trash. Is that the iridescent glow? Of the circle underneath her feet? Could it be her? Off in the distance? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Nobody sorts trash properly, it seems. <laughs> it is her. Why can't people sort their trash properly? Hi, Mimo Day. <laughs> pee cape. A cape that smells like pee. Jesus Christ, you just took off. Who's this idiot? As you can see, there's a woman's body here. She appears to have been a researcher. Could she have been attacked by an escaped beast? Probably. It looks like she has something in her hand. Oh. What is it? It appears to be a bottle of chemicals. I hope it's uh, broken and the contents are gone. One of the things I need for the culture. I wonder what was in it. The effects of the anti-gagney cells. Anti-gagney cells have the same function as T cells found naturally in the human body. They are creating antibodies against the gagney virus. If the subject has already been infected with the gagney virus, anti-G cells are rejected, ultimately resulting in the subject's death. Warning. Yeah, there was nothing in her hand. The functioning of the anti-G cells drops markedly with any rise in blood pressure. For this reason, alcohol intake after administration is strictly prohibited. Alcohol in the blood has also been proven to decrease the virulence. Hold on. I don't know what that word means. The ingredients are written on the bottle. Sodium chloride. That's all the chloride Sodium I needed. Chloride. Imagine smelling chloride. your favorite caster. <laughs> I bet they make a culture medium for the vaccine with these ingredients. A majority of Twitch casters reek. But these ingredients are pretty common. I bet we could find no other offense. things that have them. What? Really? Yes. I bet we could find everything we need in the convenience store. I don't want to go to the convenience Whoa. store. In store nearby. Let's go. I don't want to. Oh, no. What just happened? The train's coming. Do I have to switch to the tracks or are we just, just waiting? Just trying to kill it the usual way isn't going to work with this monster. What are you doing? Well, what else could I do? Shoot the train thing or something. I don't know. I'm gonna go insane playing this game. Um, is the train coming or not? She's not even interested. Yeah, she gets uh, she gets winded so quickly. Shoot the red light. Yeah, that makes sense.
What? How did we touch that light? Hello? <laughs> did you hear something just now? I did. I heard an Anybody adult say there? hello. I made the train. Come on, train. Press triangle to help. Hey, are you guys with some TV station? You think you could give me a hand? I hurt my leg, and I can't get up onto the platform. Hey, what are you filming? This isn't some. I have to help him. I have to help him. It would be funny to watch him get hit by the train, though. Is it track? Oh. Was it a trap? Hey, thanks a lot. You saved me. Here, let me repay you. Huh? Hmm? Eh? I lost my ID mm. card. Oh, eh. well, whatever. It won't do me any good now anyway. But I really want to thank you guys. Sure thing. It was nothing. We just did what anybody would have done. What is she doing? By the way, what are you gonna do now? Do you want to come with us? Do you want to hang out? With you hurt like that, it's too dangerous out here for you. And if we go to the airport, <laughs> the military is supposed to come evacuate us. Yeah. Thanks. The military is the bad guy. Okay. I have to stay here and wait for somebody. Oh, who are you waiting for? Wait for somebody? Here? Yeah. So I can't go. Why don't you. we take the train? I can't just desert my friend. Hmm. I guess not. Well, I guess we better get going. It's a good, yeah, it's a good shot. Hell, hell of a shot of taking here. Get a hold of us someday at our office. Give us a call. I'd like to hang out. We'd like to do a piece on you. I'm oh. gonna miss you. Yeah. <laughs> Guy whose name I did not get. Sure, I'll do that. <laughs> she just books it. <laughs> yeah, I'll call you. Okay, get out of here. The game lets you lock on like this. Look at this footage. Oh. Crap, I think I broke something. Oh! She was just sprinting over this. It's a special type of ammo that can be packed with the vaccine. <laughs> just right here I on the ground. You could load your pistol with it. Right here on the ground, where it and would then be. And we shoot monsters with it, right? Right. No. But first we have to get the vaccine. And then we shoot the monsters. Is this the last level? Like, are we are we good? Is this, is this the end of the game? I took his wallet. Get out of there. Uh, Roberte, it's um, Michigan Report from Hell. It's god awful. It's, 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 it's really, this game's terribly bad. Like, super duper bad. Like, horrendously bad. Wait a minute. There's turnstiles here. Let's go. Let's get to that convenience store. Go to the convenience store. It's not the last level. Son of a gun. I was optimistic. Look at all that erotic points I got. That's what I'm talking about. No, the game continues, James. No worries, I guess. No worries. Oh, that's right. Rob, this is right. This never came out in America. We didn't get the culture medium, but we're going to a convenience store for the ingredients. <laughs> Do you really think we'll it, it came out in like Europe. That's why it's in English. Briscoe is store? really out of sorts. He's driving so it's erratically. It's hard to write in this log. Just calm down. I still think there's a pretty good chance. Briscoe can't seem to hide his irration. Like Irritation. Chance. In contrast, Justine is cool and calm. Maybe more like 50%? 
Briscoe is probably exhausted from all this tension and anxiety. Yeah, I messed up. I missed two levels. This is a place. Okay, now. We're looking for sodium chloride, potassium chloride, and magnesium chloride. Remember? Right, I know. Potassium, sodium, magnesium. Got it. See if there's any money in the cash register. Hey, don't steal anything. Hey. We TV news teams have certain standards to uphold, you know? Yeah. There's no higher moral scruples than TV journalism. What do we got here? Dear D, I tried going to the station, but I couldn't find anything. It looks like something was, somebody was doing something here, though. Oh, God damn it. Uh, maybe it's the person after our lives. I guess I'd better leave this place for now. From M. I still know what this D and M business is. What kind of convenience store just sells magnesium chloride? <laughs> oh, well, wait a minute. They sell, like, toddler's clothes. Yikes! Yuck! That's Yuck. gross! Yeah, it's nasty! Oh, I'm missing the shot. What the hell was that? Oh, got videotape. So I'm at 3247 in time. A videotape in a place like this. Great find. You better pick it up. And like the, the, the timer does not go up. I don't know what the videotapes are for. Demon in here. Put a demon in there. Changing rooms, huh? Could you excuse me a minute? Hey, you're going to change clothes now? We're in a hurry. It'll only take a second. And it'll be nice for our viewers. Ah! A oh, dead body? Oh, there's a dead body in there. Ha 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 Why would a convenience store have changing rooms? Orange juice, vodka, sugar, nope. No magnesium chloride, just vodka. All kind of beverages line the shelves. All kind of beverages line the shelves. So is she uh, going to change clothes or not? <laughs> what do you suppose is in this one? In what? In what? Are we talking about the note? What are we talking about? Why did we come back here? Why are we all standing back here? Caramel coloring, aspartame, magnesium chloride. Oh, wait a minute. This one's no good. Tea, milk, sugar, sodium. vitamin C, sodium gluconate. This won't work either. Wait, what about the sodium gluconate? Wait, are you positive about that sodium gluconate? Because that, that's got like part of the word of what we're looking for, I think. Trying to bust the lockers open. What is she doing? What do you suppose is in this one? What does that mean? All right, I don't think there's anything back here. I don't even know why this room is here. But I can't open the door myself. She's standing by the desk. Yeah, why can't we just mix up a banana? That's a great point. 
Usually when she stops like this, it's because there's like a stupid key on the ground. But I'm not seeing a key. What do you suppose is in this one? What are we doing? Why are you standing here? What are you looking at that I don't see? What do you see that I don't see? And she and then she stands here. There's nothing here though. Should I push her? There's nothing. I'm gonna push her. Oh! Ouch! You're a real jerk. Now let us out of the room. Hey! Don't do that. Um, I don't know what I'm doing in here. I mean, like, you think... You think there'd be something in here, because, I mean, this room exists. They made me come in here. I really thought she was going to move. I can't go over this. What am I doing in this room? What are we looking at? What are we looking at? What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing? She just keeps walking in between the two things, and I can interact with this over and over again, and it just says, what do you think is in here? I don't know what that means! I'm gonna lose my mind. What, what do you mean, what do you suppose is in here? And it won't let, the only things I can click on are the door and the thing. I, I'm going to try to bash all these. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know where we are. This is a very creepy uh, convenience store. No. I bashed none of them open. Okay, again, like usually she does this when we're looking for a crappy, hard-to-find key. Thank wolf you. girl 13 months is so many months thank you wolf girl and hi wolf girl how are you welcome to this game this terrible photography horror erotic photography simulator is that a key what is that i guess it's not am i supposed to zoom in would zooming help Like, what about that note? Maybe you click everything to guess what is in it? No, well, <laughs> kind of. I have to turn the light on? This is baffling. Oh, I'm glad you're doing good. I see nothing that I can do in here, and I can't see a way out. can't see anything on the other side. I don't know what that means, Dreadfell. <laughs> like, what, what, what is it focusing on when I do that? Do I need to bash this? I am... I've, I've been giving nothing. What do you suppose is in this one? In this what? Is that what the note is saying? I'm gonna run out of stupid camera battery because I can't figure this out. I don't think those boxes up there are anything. Fact says the sport. But how? 
<laughs> but how, cop fine? How are they the answer? What about the sports drink? Saccharide? Sodium chloride? Hey! Flavorings, amino acid, sodium citrate. What the hell was that about? Potassium lactate, potassium chloride. That's two! And magnesium chloride! Bingo! Bingo! That's all three! Can't believe it took us that long to click that. There are that. lots of ingredients missing. She probably wasn't standing close two, enough. Though. Like, I had to stand one, over here cares? so she could stand there. I bet it'll do the trick anyway. Yeah, it's probably fine, yeah. I wonder what this guy bases his confidence on. Let's go! Let's go! We'll be able to make the vaccine with this and escape! Let's get to the airport! Yeah. You don't want to go back to headquarters? Nah, forget about that place. Not only do we have the culture medium, but we've got tape with the truth on it, too. Yeah, as long it's as got electrolytes those, and stuff. We've got the upper hand. I don't care if we're up against the Zaka group or even the military. That level sucked. I didn't even get that many, er got a lot of moral points. It's probably because I hit her so many times because I thought she was doing something wrong. I don't know what we're doing with these tapes, Ada. I don't know what we're doing. I would never watch Zaka TV. <laughs> 7.46pm. It's got electrolytes. From now on, I'm going to use this log for my own personal notes. Hey, look. There's a hotel. Why don't we take a break? We now have a question about the relationship between the virus and the what? fog. What's the matter with you, Briscoe? This we is plan no to continue to look into this tricks. relationship further. You're the one that said we should hurry up and get to the airport. Oh, come on. I don't see you volunteering to drive. Briscoe has been driving for a long time. His stress level Who else is gonna drive, has just huh? about peaked. Any what? of us could drive. You want us to get in an accident? Justine is in a bad mood, too. There isn't anybody here. Where are we? We must have evacuated already. Come on, let's get some sleep. Nobody here, huh? Nope. Well, that's all right. Nobody's gonna care if we get some rest, right? I'm going to bed. What? Hey, let's all go to sleep. Oh. Wake me up if anything happens. Let's all go to sleep. Oh. Hey, Joy's here. Hi, Joy. Hope it's not a demon. Sorry to wake you, but there's something in this hotel. Hello. Yo. Yeah, there's something here. We don't want any more monster attacks, right? I guess. Did we Let's sleep? Just hurry up and get out of here. Did we go to bed? <laughs> Shh. It's coming from that room. What room? What? Where are you going? No, don't open that You're door. You're going to lead us straight into trouble. How are you doing, Joy? Happy uh, Saturday. We're playing a game. It won't open. Just forget about it. Let's get to the airport. Yeah, let's go in this door. No use. It won't open. There's got to be a key. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Somewhere. I thought I skipped a room to check it out, Pop Fine, but apparently I just Come went right into it. my room. Enough already. Better check this place out. Oh. What the? 
What did they do? Hit this place with a bulldozer or something? No, with a bulldozer? It's too dangerous. Be careful. So the noise is coming from the other end of this room. There's someone in the bathroom. I need to wait for her. I can't open the door. She has to stand right here. Ooh. Press triangle to help. Hey, do you think that's the owner of this hotel? Hey, that guy looks like he's going to kill himself. I can't go on. Hey, is he going to... Oh, my God. Yes. What? What kind of guy going to kill himself? Oh, my God. He's going to do it. I'm going to help him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help him. I'm gonna help this guy. Hey, don't kill your. Oh my god, he's about to kill himself! Oh my god, oh my god, he's gonna kill himself! Just let me die. What am I going to do now? I, 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 I can't go on living. Trying to frame anymore. the shot here. As this guy is coming to terms with the um, his own mortality, I just want to get some erotic points. Come on. Better get going. Slide that meter over to the erotic side. This man's life. Yeah, he's got the shotgun like this. Eight sixty erotic. <laughs> this game is so bad. Nice. I like mixing, like, sexiness and suicide into one shot, you know? Writing this in the airport. van on the way to the Great the Fez Transfer Airport. Come get us. Time to say goodbye resting to and, resting and car trouble took up a lot of time. Don't you leave without us. I hope if we're there in time for the landing hotel, of that rescue military that transport. Okay, I guess you're right. Thick fog anyway, is hanging all over the Great there. Fez Airport. All right. When we arrive, we plan to do a report and then get into the transport. Yeah, I thought it was O'Hara. All right. This is our last report. Am Good I right? Luck. Is that actually the name of the airport? Leave it to me. Knees are also sexy. No time for that, though. Stand by. Stand by. Oh, wait. Three, yes, I guess there is time. Two, one, go. Good evening, everybody. This is Justine Rhodes. We're here at the Great Tezu Airport Tezu. in an attempt to Tezu. evacuate Chicago. Tezu. As you can see, the airport, just like everything else, is the only, the only surviving fog. footage of the terrible virus Visibility is practically was shot zero. by a man with a knee fetish. We've received information that a military transport will be arriving here. For the time being, we'll move on to the control room. Okay, that was good. Let's go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're now here inside the control room. There isn't anybody here. Now we have to ask, will a military transport really be landing here to rescue civilians? <gasps> Something is coming in over the radio. I wonder who it is. Oh, I mean 12, nice. I thought everyone was dead. Yeah, guys, Chicago's full of fog. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, nope. That's her. This is the great Taser control room. Can you hear me? We're killing it right now, Kiko boy. We're waiting for you to rescue us. Hurry! So they call it the Foggy City. But which one is for the runway lights? How am I supposed to know which button? This one? Nope, no good. This doesn't work. This doesn't work either. 
Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Maybe the power is cut off. Landmark or something? What are we gonna do? Oh. I still can't move. I'm still stuck. Hey, look at that map. Yeah. There's that lighthouse. You're right. The lighthouse. Oh, the lighthouse. The lighthouse would be a good landmark, right? Just use the lighthouse! Okay, we located it on our map. Now, if you'll just turn on the lighthouse beacon, we can land. Okay, hold on a while then. Do these idiots have GPS? Oh, you've got to hurry. We're running out of fuel. Alright. Let's get to that lighthouse. Come on! Why are we going to a lighthouse? <laughs> Why? <laughs> What were the military logistics? Like, they they had to have known that the city was going to be foggy. Why is it the military in the city? What's hey, going on in this game? On. What's taking you guys so long? Let's go! Come on, get in! Hey, somebody's coming. Isn't that our boss? Make sure you get this on film, you hear? Huh? Well, here you all are. <laughs> what is she doing here? It looks like we all made it in time. Her knees are disgusting. We don't, we don't have time for her knees. Right. In that case, you'd better hurry to the lighthouse. I'll wait here while you turn on the beacon. <laughs> we'll meet up again after that. I'll have a talk with General Sanders to be sure all of you will... I saved her. I'm saving everyone today. Even if they're actually evil, I'm saving them. Yeah, Dante, that's what I was thinking. What was that thing? Did you drive it away? I guess. It didn't show me anything. Maybe it ran off. Thank you all very much. It was her again. It was Pamela. Was it? I couldn't Pamela? tell. You mean Pamela Martell? Yeah, Pamela Martell's a demon. But what happened to her? Well, she became a demon. Look, Chief. Just wait in the security office for us while we go to the lighthouse. We'll be back. All right. All right. All right. Oh, hello, people. Um. Who in the world are you? Finally, real people at last. What? Hello, I game. I have no idea what's going on. Where did all this fog come from? We don't have any time to waste on this guy. We've got to get to the lighthouse. Wait! Don't go! Hey! I've been so lonely all by myself. Don't leave me. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> this guy is looking really sick. I bet he's infected with that virus. virus? He probably has that virus thing that's been going about? around. <laughs> I don't have a cold or anything. My toes almost healed, Wuchop. Oh, okay. This guy doesn't realize what's happening to him. I didn't know what I was gonna do. <laughs> that me? I woke up and everybody. That's gotta look like me. Him. Yeah, look at him. That snazzy collar. Where could Doctor O'Connor be? I wonder. What did you say? Don't tell me you're Dr. O'Connor's guinea pig. What? You know Dr. O'Connor too? I guess. Where is he? I don't know. I don't remember. That Dr. O'Connor is so mean. What a Poking meanie. prodding a guy's body like he was nothing. And when I woke up, he was gone too. He, he sounds like me too. Alone. <laughs> I do talk like that, yes. What the heck is going on? Hey, you guys. Get Dr. O'Connor to come back. I thought we just had to go to the lighthouse. No, wait a minute. Shoot him. Don't go. 
Wait! <laughs> Look! Over there! Do you see that? Come on, Alrin! <laughs> what? <laughs> Is nuts. This guy is what do you nuts. Want to do? Hey, but you know as well as I do, Briscoe. He's not human anymore. <laughs> What is going on in this scene? <laughs> Shoot him, don't be afraid, pull the trigger. He's coming back, he's coming back. Yeah, wait, did we put the medicine don't in the gun? Don't kill me! Please, don't kill me! Erotic, erotic, erotic. But I suppose you have to. But... But... What is with this guy? This guy's a weirdo. <laughs> huh? Joy, you kinda haven't. Did he kill me? Like, it got on the camera. Like, in some ways you missed a lot, and in some ways you've missed nothing. Like, nothing that preceded this explains what's going on. It was mostly just more. This was, like, the most, though. This is the most. But there was more of just, like, this. The fog! Oh! That guy, he was what was causing... Do we still have to go to the lighthouse? Who knows? More importantly, where's that transport? I don't see it anywhere. Come on, let's just get to the lighthouse. Why? We cut the fog. Now we're at the lighthouse? <laughs> we made it to the lighthouse. All we have to do is turn on the beacon. Oh, oh I'm tired. Yep. Say, Prisco. It's foggy why again. Don't you two guys go on up without me. She's infected. I'd say that's enough reporting. Why? What's the matter? She's infected, kill her. Oh, but she's got the gun. What are we doing out here? Turning on the beacon. Running around in a sea of dead bodies. Pretending to do news reports. I don't, I've never, I've, I've played nonsense. part of No More Heroes and I wasn't like a fan. That's not true. Even if we don't make it, there'll still be the videotapes. But I've never played, Somebody other than this, I've never played any truth. other ones. They'll see us and they'll know we're alive. Yeah. But it's all just meaningless. Yep. Even trying to find out the truth behind what's been happening is meaningless. 
people will never know the truth. The reason I'm staring at her knees is because it gives me erotic you points. See, we'll Just I want to point that out once know. again. And apparently so that's important for the good ending. Everybody will forget about us. No, I like the I'm happy we're playing this game. The game is terrible. I don't have the strength to take another step. Yeah, she's saying something really deep right you now. You go on without me. All right. If that's the way you feel. It's too bad though. Come on. Let's All go. right. Come on, you old lug. Let's get out of here. Come on. Check out that lighthouse. Look at all the eroticism. Heavily erotic in that one. <sighs> How am I supposed to get erotic points here? Are you kidding me? So this is the lighthouse, huh? I thought when I was looking at his knees, I was really looking through his knees at her knees. Now, his knees are erotic. Looks like it's just you and me now. Well, I know, I missed the shower. We'll play it let's again. Let's get this taken care of. We'll just do it two times in a row today. Hey. Hey. What do you think of Justine? Ooh. You know what I think? Well, it's probably something ridiculous. Who knows who's behind all this stuff that's been going on? That one's the chief's favorite, after all. Yeah, and that damn chief. Oh, uh, yeah, we met the chief. She was the one that forced us all into this whole mess from the start. Goddamn chief. Well, Briscoe up, the up pants. The next time I see her, I swear I'm gonna. Oops. Oopsies. I forgot you were getting this on camera. <laughs> You'll edit that part out, won't you? Yeah. It appears to be an electrical control panel. Do you want to come in here? Man, that guy they were experimenting on. Do you think he was what was causing the fog? I don't know. And what was up with that plane that crashed into Lake Michigan? What? I just don't know. A plane crashed into Lake Michigan? When? This must be it. This is the power supply to the lighthouse. When did a plane crash into Lake Michigan? Come on, let's go up to the top. Woo, that'll be fun. All these deaths we've seen. Yeah. Everything's all confused in my head now. Okay. I have this feeling some of these murders didn't have anything to do with the virus at all. I guess I've probably just about got the whole thing figured out. They discussed it before the game started? I don't remember. Hey. Hey. What do you think? What do you think? Who do you think's behind all of this stuff? The government. Now's your chance. This is your opportunity to let everybody know exactly what you think. Well, how about it? Do I actually get to choose? Won't talk with the camera on, hey? Ha! Coward! The fog's completely cleared away! What are you rambling about? I don't see that transport anywhere, though. It looks like they deserted he us. Just, he's just, like, talking. <laughs> about nothing. But who cares if they don't rescue us now? Without that fog, there won't be any monsters. We can go anywhere we want. <sighs> I don't know why, but I feel so tired. I feel like the game I'm is trying to get like really deep. Like it has like a like a deep meaning. It can't be. But I'm not. It's not like I'm not grasping it. I'm low on battery.
Leave. 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 Oh, wait, the girl. Is that the end? It's really disappointing if that's the end. That's really, really disappointing. Four and a half hours for that. Where's the erotic ending? Where's the erotic ending? Where's the sexy erotic ending? I thought you were having a sexy ending. Oh, Rachel Walter played Patty and Becky. Who was Jemba Slaughter? Who's Andy Steamboat? This is it after the credit scene? Hold on, guys. After the credit scene. This game was awful. This game was like not good. It was like, it, like the only reason it was to it was like tolerable. It was tar It was a tolerable game because of how ridiculous it was. Who's Andy Steamboat? <laughs> Andy Steamboat's a funny name. Am I shouting over the loudest music ever? I feel like I'm sh Is the music super loud? I feel like I'm shouting. Yeah, I'm- Yo, I'm with you, Ifreed. I'm also mad that, um, Suda51 has a following. I don't think he deserves it. This game was, uh, it's pretty bad. This game's pretty bad. I think it might be worse than Dracula 2. No, I don't like Suda. Put it, write it down, put it on record. I don't like him. No, I give this game like five and a half bagels out of 10. It's only tolerable because we all got to laugh at it together. I live in Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Wolf Soldier. <laughs> I don't. I don't live in Michigan. <laughs> Guys, Spooky September just always delivers. This game had nothing to do with Michigan. <laughs> I guess it was near Lake Michigan. <laughs> there was a guy who said nude maker, I didn't see that. <laughs> yeah, we'll visit this game later, maybe. <laughs> a different year, perhaps. It takes place in Chicago, which most people refer to as Michigan. <laughs> Welcome to the shitty. Of, welcome to the city of Chicago, or Michigan, as we call it here. <laughs> oh, was, why would they name their company Nude Maker? I mean, Nude Maker has like a certain connotation of what kind of company it is. Like, if you said Vega, what industry does the company Nude Maker do their work in? I would not say video games. I would say pornography. This is a good playthrough. Directed by Akira Uida.
If I don't get that erotic ending, I'm gonna be so pissed off. Spike. You're either a nude maker or you're not. <laughs> Come on, game. Damn it. If we didn't have to start that level over again, a divine being whose skills are neither good nor bad, it doesn't get excited easily. That is me. Justin Secret. Is that my code name? You can call me Justin Secret. Movie theater. Justin. Oh, Justin costume. Well. Didn't get the erotic ending. I'm a divine being. Ooh. Is this me? I'll never forget you, Nina. Your beautiful eyes, your lovely black hair, that soft, translucent skin of yours. And Nina, I'll never forgive the guys that put you in this situation. It's th Who's Nina? What? What? What, the, what was any? What was that part? Who's Nina? I forgot. Wait, Nina was at the beginning, I guess. Well, that sucked. Who would play this like multiple times? Who would play? Who would play this again and again to get all the costumes and endings? Game is pretentious. You got such. A I hate Suda. He's so pretentious. <laughs> uh, where am I? That's not right. That's not right. There I am. Good green screen and bagel. Well, that's the end of Michigan Report from Hell. I don't know how necessarily we top Michigan Report from Hell, but I suppose we should try. Dracula! Good time to subscribe during the spooky scene. How are you doing, Mar Dracula? Nine months. Wah, wah! Baby sub! Mar Dracula, thank you. Um, like, zero. I would, nah, I'd give this game like five and a half out of ten. Um, yeah, we got more games to happen. We got to play Deadly Premonition now, but I got to stretch this out and make you guys go away. Doop, doop, boop, ba doop. boop. Okay. That was Michigan Report from Hell. We're doing it, Tristan. Cop fine. I actually do. You're surprised, I know. I, 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 I thought, you know what? I'm just going to test the game before the stream. And it was not in 1080p. So then I found the fix. I downloaded it, started the game. It ran at like 2 FPS. I had to restart my whole computer. And then it was fine. So I don't know what that is, what that was about. But it's fixed now. All characters appearing in this work are fictitious. Any resemblance to real persons and groups is purely coincidental. The PC port is ass. Well, I want to see if I can um, actually capture this without display capture. If I can't, it's fine. We'll just use it. But I'd prefer to use game capture. See if this works. This is a long game, isn't it, Ada? I'm trying to load the game back up. This game's fun. Good. I hate to go to bed angry, but it's 3 a.m. <laughs> I understand, Diefried. 
it's long. I, um, I'm pretty sure I just managed to crash the game through the use of Alt-Tab, which is um, unfortunate, since I'll be doing a lot of Alt-Tabbing in today's... Uh, when I cast, you know, I, I press Alt-Tab a lot. I need to... Um, sorry, one second. I need to uh, open up that DP fix. No, that won't help. So I can't alt tab. That's a thing. I can't. Or maybe it was the game capture that screwed it up. Bagel. Sometimes game capture does screw things up. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm being an idiot. Um, let me turn the game on again. Actually, I'm going to go pee. I'm going to turn the game on and then we'll play. That's a good idea. Okay, I'm not going to pull up a screen because I'm afraid it's not going to work. Display capture. Close that. Play. I'll be right back. It's dangerous to run around here, boys. Grandpa, hurry! Hurry Grandpa, up! Grandpa, you're too slow! <laughs> I am back! Oh, we're watching something. Shit, what's this? Don't spoil that. Um, okay, 2013. You think this game would run better for a game from 2013? I'm just gonna try real quick to alt tab the game. I know I shouldn't. I, just, I want to be positive that I cannot alt tab the game. Yeah, I can't, I don't know why I tried to do that. This is one of those games that breaks when you alt tab it, that's pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching the stream guys. We have a hell of a lot of content coming on right now. Okay, okay, that's this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is gonna be one of those I, there's, I've played games like this before. I've played games like this before No alt tabbing Don't alt tab just don't do it Whatever it's fine I downloaded the fix, and in the fix, there was a way to run it, like, borderless full screen, but it crashed immediately, like, it didn't turn on, so I had to leave it on regular full screen. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I played the episode one of the Back to the Future games, and it was alright. It was, like, pretty easy. And, like, I'm an idiot at point and clicks, and I felt like it was pretty easy. I'm muted. No, wait, I'm not muted. I'm not muted. Everything's fine. Okay, we're ready to play. New game. 9mm FBI handgun custom. A standard issue FBI handgun can hold 15 plus 1 bullets.
That's correct, Force Mono. I want to hear another story. Ah, uh, yes, of course. You've been waiting a long time for this, so... How about a special one? This story is very strange and very nasty, but somewhat nostalgic. Do you Hi, Fuzzy Fog. you can be a good girl and listen all the way to the end? Is it a scary story? It might be. It might be! But it's also a very important story. If you don't want to hear it, I can tell you a different story. No, I want to hear it. This way, I won't be scared. Will you turn on the TV then? Leave the sound down like always. Well, this is bizarre. Now, listen. This is important. At times, we must purge things from this world because they should not exist. Even if it means losing someone that you love. I'm used to playing really shitty games, and I'm used to playing ports that don't run good. I'm used to all these things, so this is going to be completely fine. Okay. Hans <laughs> Hans Gruber Jr. Hey Hans Gruber. Move, run. Oh, that's awesome. Hey Hans Gruber Jr. How you doing? Prologue. O O York and Zach. A and Y is displayed. Act with A, observe with Y. A, do a doll shaped like a fat man. It has a plate on it, which reads, Washington State. Act! A strange clock is ticking away, though the room itself makes you feel as if time has stopped. Good! Good, Hans Gruber. It's locked. Oh, thank you! It does look like Shea Garth's realm. And Cherik for two months! Hey, Jarek. How are you? What are these guys doing? What are these kids? Let's hear what this person has to say. Could Thank you, Jarek. Just a little longer. This won't take long. I feel like these games are very similar. A white screen. Sorry to keep you waiting. It will start soon. It's about time to get started. I know, I love the music in the background. It's great. The saxophone's wonderful. Zach. <laughs> Zach. Can you hear me? It's me. I've never you... played folklore, no. If you can hear my voice, could you respond? <sighs> Good. I thought you went to sleep. Zach, don't be surprised. The crime took place out in the country this time. Let's take it slow. Okay. Okay, Zach? What's the... Isn't there a game that preceded this? Isn't there a game like this that came up before this? Or am I misremembering? I'm sure that's one way of looking at it. But it's totally wrong. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Listen, they both need each other. It's called interdependency. And they both know it. 
Yeah, I know. He does terrible things to Tom. Nasty, even sadistic things. I, know, I thought fine, the, the people who made this mini game like this before this. Wants. Think of it. It's actions. He's always asking for it. It's his partner's job to fulfill that need, and Jerry knows that. Proof? Well, in the Tom and Jerry show, they live with each other. Hello? Hello? I believe the Bureau still can't get me a satellite phone. These puppies are making me go to another town in the boondocks again. Well, I'll be a happy camper. Even if it ends up being a waste of time, at the very least it'll get me a cramped city for a while. Right, Zach? The perpetrator from the last case really was something. I would have thought there'd be razors laced into your nails. Oh. Crazy. Just crazy. Are those police cigarettes? No, at least I now have a scar to show off. You see this? I got this when I arrested the Catwoman wannabe. Women. They're crazy. Don't you agree, Zach? What are we talking about? Wait, that's the sound of monkeys. <laughs> Why does every animal in these horror games just make monkey sounds? I just got the bad ending. Yeah, I heard him talk about the Tom and Jerry show. It was, that was a monkey sound effect. In a previous game, the, the dog sounded like monkeys. In Resident Evil, the dog sounded like monkeys. Hmm. We beat it. We beat it, Dragon. But in a way, yes, it did not work. Like, on like a conceptual level, it did not work. Zack, there goes the civilized world. What? I don't understand. Who's Zack? Mission knife. A big survival knife. Reach short, speed fast, strength low, durability high. Do you want to save? Of course. X, flashlight on off. Okay. Oh, okay. Tough luck. Have to leave you here, old buddy. How long were we together? Ever since I joined the Bureau. Zach's my camera. Wait, for real? A rusty pipe. I'm gonna take it. You got the steel pipe. Um... Okay, well, this didn't answer any of my questions. Oh. Oh. Tra trading card. Key flag. Map. Item. Wait, item. I have equipped the steel pipe. How do I... Okay, press that button. Okay. How am I using the flashlight? Is it attached to me? My time counter? What's my time counter? Oh, in the menu screen? Okay. Well, perhaps it's supposed to be like that. Solve that puzzle. 
<laughs> what is Agent Honor? Start profiling. <laughs> what is going on? Looks like we're being welcomed. What, what was that? I'll let you handle the meet and greet. Extra money for profiling. What did I just do? Okay. But that's just where the car is. I've never, I know nothing about this game. I've never seen it played. Can't see th much through the fog. The path might be blocked from the rain. We should stay away from obvious danger. That's fog? It's like demon energy. I don't know, it looks like demon energy to me. Okay. All these powers are standard for the FBI. <laughs> do I need to be beating these things down? It gives me agent honor when I do it. But I don't know what I do with that. Oh. This thing's definitely going to attack me. Uh-oh. <laughs> the main character's hair looks terrible. <laughs> Observe. Hmm. So much for my hopes for a peaceful picnic. Do me a favor and stay sharp, Zach. Okay. Can of pickles. Excuse me. A can of pickles will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. I will take the can of pickles. You got can of pickles. Okay. Doesn't look like anyone lives here. No reclusive hairy brutes to greet us. A control panel for the power grid. This should give us electricity we need. I'm not an expert opinion, though. Sorry. Yeah, Zetsu. Thank you for... Yeah, it's adorable. Thank you, Zetsu Bera. <laughs> How can I open... You've ever tried to open a can of pickles? It's hard. Also, who cans pickles? Okay. It's, it's... Okay. You got mysterious shadow. What does that mean? Equip weapon to draw with LB. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. I got extra money for a fast enemy kill. Do I want to be using the gun? Headshots give you a bonus. I, I definitely got a headshot there. Oh. Yep. 
Yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. Bandages. <laughs> That's an awesome band-aid box. Oh. Reload. Well, this is great. The combat's fantastic. The gun has... Oh, it ha oh, wait! It does have infinite ammo. Oh, did why the heck was I running around with a steel pipe like an idiot? Yeah, I see the infinity sign to my right. Oh, start profiling. What, what, what are these scenes? I've been through a lot of crazy situations, but that one, that one takes the cake. It's the first time I've been attacked so directly. <laughs> Zach, can you give me a logical explanation about what that was? Never mind, don't answer. Life is fun because of the mysteries. Right, Zach? I still don't get who Zach is. A phone. A lollipop. <laughs> okay, I got you smart, but do you want to save? Oh, why, yes, I'd love to. Well, I love all these constant rewards I'm getting. That's nice. I'm Zach. Oh, so the game's talking to me. That's good. I kind of wish I was using the mouse instead of the right analog stick to aim. You know what I mean? Yes. But whatever. I can move this. It's up to you, Zach. Okay. Where would I move it to? And why? Amazing. It's covering his head. Amazing. Oh yeah, there's tons of steel pipes. I still haven't played competitive. I'm too afraid to. Turn on. Spooky Zach Timber. Yeah, no, I'm afraid to play competitive Overwatch. Like, what if I lose? I don't think I can handle that. An old sign. I can make out... Okay. I don't know what... It looks like we're heading down this road, Zach. Oops, oopsies. I think we can say that about a lot of the games we've played uh, this year. <laughs> I don't know if the game's scary, but it's really weird. Yes. Am I supposed to be breaking these boxes open? Would you stop it? Is there a way to like quick swap weapons? Oh, it's Greenvale. Greenvale was the name. Oh, I can I just shoot him? Yes. Yes, I can just shoot them. But I don't know if there's anything in them. Oh yeah, there is. There's like money. I do like I do like weird games. I do like weird games. Bigger, watch out! There's a barrel. Did a guy spawn? Oh, hello. Yes. <laughs> this is like the worst way to break this open, but I feel like it's quicker than. Uh, Switching to the uh, pipe. 
Um, I don't like Winston. I don't like playing as Winston. I like Tracer. Definitely just ran past a lady. Yeah, the aim is a little weird with the right analog stick. Yes. Stabilizer? What is that? Oh. Oh, a stabilizer. Agreed. Like, mission. God, mission can report from hell. <laughs> that game was friggin' awful. But it was really fun to play. But this generator's broken. This generator looks really bad. Zach, I think the killer really had a grudge against it. You got machine broken by an axe. <laughs> oh, the, these are... I'm, I'm unlocking the clues. Is that what's happening? Start profiling. Okay. Yeah, no, sometimes I, like, run around... I hate when I play Tracer and I, like, run around a corner and just, like, an arrow hits me and I die in one hit. That's fantastic. Zach, let's try to find a way to fix this mess. You got the fuse box. Another uh, horror game staple. F fuse boxes. The generator looks really bad. Zach, I think the killer really had a grudge against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's a toolbox? Oh, it's like the item box? Is that is that what that is? Like the uh, box in Resident Evil? So I can't open that. Yeah, fuse box, crank... Horror game staples. Okay. Have you played this Dreadfowl? Bullseye. Nice shot. <laughs> Bullseye. Nice shot. Looks like nothing is broken since it's the same model. I think I can fix it. Uh, okay. Okay. So I'm just going to start this generator instead of the other one? Yeah, I have a lot of fun playing her ch chips. The power in this area should be much more stable now. Let's hurry ahead, Zach. I don't want to skip them. Ooh. Wonderful bagel. So smart. Amazing. I can't I can't use the mouth. In what was it? It was Oh, in Tomb Raider, I used to um I, I would play the game with the uh, I would play the game with the controller and then I would use the mouse to aim sometimes. When I really had to. But I just, I feel like this game would be annoying to play with mouse and keyboard. Great. I think a lot of times I just find it easier to stream with a, with a controller. Like, Great. is she teleporting? Like, I feel, I feel like less comfortable when I have to lean over the uh, keyboard. Get out of here. Go away. <laughs> There's, they're infinite, they're infinite. Is this a different car? Uh, Seems the car crashed into the electric pole, severing power. Quite the nuisance, huh, Zach? Where'd the driver go anyway? 
Why do you just leave his car? This is a nuisance. I think I messed up. I don't I don't know if I hit evade in time. Whew. Quick time events. That's the guy I was hit with my car. Oh my goodness. Nope, I got out of there. I got out of there. I got out of there. We're fine. I wasn't I wasn't ready for any quick time events. <sighs> hey Snorlax, uh -huh. how are you doing? Welcome to the beginning of Deadly Premonition. I'm Bagel. Earlier today we played Michigan Report from Hell. It was terrible. You got red ivy. Is that the last clue? Do I solve something for having all the clues? Profiling start! Hey, Drippel, have a good time at work. Lollipop, sweet sugar candy. <laughs> oh, we're loading. I thought it also gave me a lollipop. All right, yeah, I'll take a lollipop. This game came out three years ago. It's totally a classic. There's definitely something in this town. I'm gonna to say microtransactions cop you fine, but I really dislike UTs. My coffee warned me about it. Yesterday morning, the milk I poured in my coffee made a sign. It said, tomorrow you'll arrive in a place that will change your fate. What? Oh, hey, telephone. Yes. Just three years ago, this game came out, apparently. Would wait, what? How big is this game? This is just like an open world game. I would, I know nothing about this game. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Do I just run? Oh, this is nice. This is bringing back DayZ memories. What's the um, meter that's filling up as I run? Like, the, is that his, like, stress level? Like, his heart rate? Like, what happens if that hits the max? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> okay. Don't let it do that. <laughs> He's all messed up. It's great. It is his heart rate. There's a few games we've been playing this month with heart rate. Okay, yeah, do, do not let that happen. That really screws you up. And I'm good. Welcome to Greenvale. Now you were very late. Emily Wyatt, Greenvale Deputy Sheriff. I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. FBI Special Agent, Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. That's what everyone calls me. Agent York? Good, that's good. Are you the sheriff? Uh, no, I'm Deputy Sheriff Emily Wyatt. George, he's the sheriff. He went looking for you, actually. He should be back soon. I see. If you don't mind me asking, did you walk all the way here? I ran. My car broke down, that's all. She's easy on the eyes. Definitely worth a trip to the primitive world. He talking out loud? By the way, don't mention anything about what happened back there. She'll think you're a psycho. 
Don't want that, do we, Zach? Well, the music in the game has been fantastic. I'm the sheriff, George Woodman. George Woodman. We don't like George Woodman. I can tell from the piano. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, just call me York. Hey, Cloudy. That's I've never played it. Could you tell me why the FBI is so interested in a small town homicide? Let's just say it's a person. I like it. He kind of looks. No, he did look like Danny Trejo. Always looking for new sample cases to help me with my profiling. Both our superiors have cleared this with each other. You can remain in command. You don't have a problem with this, do you? No. No problem. Just want to set things straight. Our small town has its share of problems. I'm the one fixing them one by one and maintaining peace and order. You can have your profiling sample. <laughs> I think I had a character with that same mustache. Yes, you're right. Yes. I'm pretty sure that looks like Esteban from Daggerfall. <laughs> Darker hair, though. By the way, George, I had a little accident with my car. Could you send someone to take care of it? Oh, and my clothes and luggage are still inside. All right. Don't worry. I'll get my assistant, Thomas, to take care of it. Do you need anything else? Thanks. That'll be all. Well, then, I think I'll rest up first at the hotel. Then I'll join you on your investigation. What was the deal with the zombies we were killing? I really don't need your help. Unlike some of your corrupt city police officers, I play it by the book. I hope you'll come to appreciate that. Agent Morgan. Oh, he didn't call me York. And we'll handle the investigation. You just think of this as a vacation. Take it easy. Enjoy the nature here. You don't have to be a tree worshiper to appreciate the wildlife. Where does the game take place? Zach, let's reassess the situation. There are no cavemen here. We're as far forward as the Middle Ages. And we've just... Met the king. Well, Greenville, yeah, where's Greenville? No, nah, I don't think this is Maine. There's too many, we don't wear that kind of hat up here. It's Michigan, it's not Michigan. Prologue, we done! We've already done it! That's great. We did a great job on the prologue. I got 200 bucks. Oh, go! Whoa, I got a ton of money. Generic American tax. It seems like it's like the West somewhere. I don't like my guy's hair. It looks terrible. Previously, during the investigation. Do I have to press this? I'm going to press it. During the investigation. These puppies are making me go to another town. In the I shouldn't have pressed this, should I have? I didn't think you'd keep me waiting in the rain for so long. Welcome to Greenville. I'm the sheriff, George Wood. This is hilarious. There's definitely something in this town. Do you feel it, Zach? I coughed and warned me about it. <laughs> yeah, it seems like Colorado, yeah. The story is being told from the future. I've been using that one for a long time. Does the bear have the tie that the main character wears, or is that a different bear? Or a different tie? It's got some memories attached to it, sure. I used to watch movies on this thing with your grandma all the time. Grandma liked movies? She, she like movies? Everyone loves movies, right? I love movies too. I've never been to a movie theater though. Okay, okay. First day of the investigation. Angel Isaac. All right, it's good. Uh, sugar donut. <laughs> Do 
Whoa, 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 she like movies? You're kidding me. The heck am I doing? Wait, for real at it? Don't read them? Natural Dave, thank you for the host. And hi, Natural Dave. Welcome to the world of Deadly Premonition. I'm Bagel. I play the classics. This is a classic. It's called Deadly Premonition. Thank you for the host, Natural Dave. They'll spoil things. Okay, I won't. York. York. Oh, it's that little kid. It is the same tie that's on the bear, right? What's the whistling song? Dave of Hatred? Don't breathe. Hold your breath. They can't see you if you hold your breath. Hurry. Like this. Cover your mouth. Do it, York. Oh. What are we doing? Why are we going so slow? <laughs> this is bizarre. <laughs> Never let go. Chip says let go. Why aren't we moving? I'm not gonna let it go. I refuse, that, I would not play the game like that. I'm not gonna give in to what you guys want. No, I'm not gonna let it go. I would have so much trouble holding my breath this long. That little boy's like, holding the crap out of his breath. Yeah, I know he has to do it too. He has to, he has to cover his mouth because he can't do it any other way. The same motion? Who are you? I bet I can hold my breath for like a couple minutes, but I don't want to. Realistically, it's like 30, 35 seconds until I start to like get weird. That's why you're not FBI bagel. It's <laughs> a good point. I bet I could hold my breath for a while, but it creeps me out. Like, I feel like my blood is, like, doesn't have oxygen in it or something. I don't know. Like, I, it, it creeps me out to hold my breath. It creeps me out to hold my breath. Like, I feel like I got, like, bad blood pumping through my body with no oxygen in it. And, like, my arms are going to start dying or something. I can't explain it. It creeps me out. <laughs> I can hold it for a long time. I just don't want to. Like I'm, like, I'm killing my fingers or something. <laughs> Yeah, it spooks me out, Zetsubara. Zach, I panic. The yes. The in my dreams continues to intensify. A forest of red trees, a carpet with red leaves, a strange doll, and twin angels. It's a big bed, yeah. But that child is what bothers me the most. I swear I've seen him before. I just can't remember where. Wasn't he one of those angel guys? Wasn't he that angel baby? Well, it'll probably come back to me eventually. From the beginning? For now, we need coffee. Yeah, he's smoking way too much. God. Oh. Let's head to the cafeteria, Zach. I hope they have some real coffee. I have we a really second need some less coffee. useful then we can tie on. To the sheriff's office. There's a proper so procedure for everything, fine. right, Zach? That's just gonna stay like that. Um Oh, I can change my suit. Oh. I like that. This is nice. Wait, did I just pay money to do that? Nothing here of any interest to me. What is it? I love Forest of Rain. 
Forever? Is there a way to like zoom in? Oh. Fovar. I love Forest of Rain Fovar. That's nice. I am a number one. <laughs> shave two. The FBI pays clean of weight, really? Did you say shave or save? Go to bread? I thought you said go to bread. How do I shave? Guns. No, that's just a toolbox. I don't have anything in it. I want to get the shaving bonus. Looks like the door wasn't locked. Is that the front door? I don't want to leave. Oh. That's the front door. This is definitely the bathroom door. Oh, yeah, save from a crashing standpoint. That makes sense. Thirty three yards to what? I got $12 for shaving. That's sick. Taking a shower might help clear up thoughts, Zach. Can, wait, can I? Can I take a shower? <laughs> this game is so bizarre. Um, the people who made this game didn't make a second game. Like, I'm not saying a sequel to this. I'm just saying they didn't make another game. There's a bathroom within the bathroom? What kind of, what kind of hotel is this? There's a sub bathroom. Oh, in the future, they're going to put chips in your toothbrush, and every time you brush your teeth, you're going to it's going to have like a microchip that goes to your phone and it's going to give you money off of your dental insurance. But I don't know exactly how that would work, but that's going to be the future. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to leave. No, I know they're... No oh, D2... Oh, they made those games. I see. Guess I should... Just go after that arrow. D4 is tight. I hear D4 is tight. Yeah, I think I think that's the uh, the thinking there, Hans. <laughs> Coffee, milk, wait. Makes it hard to become sleepy for a short while and recovers a little tiredness. Thirteen dollars and fifty cents. Do you want to buy anything else? No. Or maybe I did. I don't know. Hi, chips. No, I wasn't talking to you. Good morning, Mr. Morgan. Your breakfast is ready for you. I love hotel breakfast. I always make the waffles and I hold everyone up because I make like three of them. Polly Oxford, hotel owner. Thank you, Mrs. Polly Oxford. This is Sir great. Polly is fine. Well then. Thank you, Polly. I'm starving. Is everything all right, Mr. Morgan? Yes, it's delicious, Polly. My compliments to the chef. I'm hoping my cooking will bring back repeat guests. Honestly, though, it's been a while since anyone has stayed here. I couldn't help but notice. This song's Aside great, and hey, it's full There seems to be no other guests or workers around. What's that? The salt's in that white shaker there. Thank you. I was wondering if there were any other guests or workers here. Oh, no, no one else. My husband and I used to run this place, but he's in heaven now. You're, you're <laughs> Going on a big trip. <laughs> we'll be coming back. Hard by yourself. Oh, my. We're all out of pepper. I'm very sorry. It must be difficult to run a hotel by yourself. Well, yes, I suppose. 
I could just live on my pension. But I have to admit, running a hotel is kind of like a hobby of mine. That's nice. Polly, it might help to hear you better if you could sit a little closer. Oh my, Mr. Morgan, you're embarrassing me. I'm <laughs> getting the scoop of a lifetime. <laughs> I think I'm a little too old for you. And I still love my departed husband. May God rest his soul. I appreciate the invitation, but I'm fine over here. Polly, I can hardly hear you from all the way over there. You're exaggerating. This is fine. It won't do to be all clumped together with such a large table and cafeteria. We have to make use of all this space. <sighs> the song keeps getting now better, too. Me. That wound on your face, what happened? Let's just say I had some trouble during the last case I was working on. I'm sure it'll heal. It's just a flesh wound. Oh my, well, there's no need to be the tough guy here. I want you to be able to relax here. I've prepared a special room for you. A famous rock star once stayed in the same room, you know. Really? I feel honored. If you need anything, anything at all, just let me know. I'll help you out in any way I can. Zach, the lady is offering to help. Do you want to ask her about the town? Yeah. Yeah. Say, Polly, what can you tell me about this town? Well, let me see. You might know this already, but the town is called Green. That was a great song. That's a great whistling Green's song. Quite often, but. It's a nice place, surrounded with nature. It was a big and prospering lumber town until not so long ago. We used to have a population of over 6,000 people. Less than a tenth of them left now. This hotel was built back then. We saw plenty of guests in those days. That's why this place is so big for such a small community. I have so many fond memories from back then. I suppose the clock on the community center is quite famous too. The clock? Oh yes, it's lovely. It rings in the morning and at night to let the whole town know the time. You'll hear it many times during your stay. It's a beautiful sound. And you'll love it too, I think. I look forward to hearing it then. Anything else you'd like to know about? Um, yeah. Yes, actually, Polly. Could you tell me about the shops around here? Shops? Ooh! Well, there aren't many. Some shop music. It is a small town, after all. Well, they said 6,000 people live here. shopping at the Milk Barn convenience store. The couple who run it are a unique pair. I'm sure you'll get to like them. The okay. The A&T Diner is a great place to eat. They might be open even if my kitchen is closed. If okay. you want to go to a bar, I still don't know what eating does. The Galaxy of Terror and the Sweary 65. That's the people who made the I game. I don't care much for eating. Is that right? Sweary? Those are for the younger folk. We also have a gas stand. I don't go to bars. The art gallery and even a gunsmith. You should be able to find what you need. Thank you, Polly. Well, Mr. Morgan, I'd better start cleaning up. You just take it easy. I'll bring your coffee out in a moment. Yes, yeah, where we made Polly. the game, Zetsu Bear. I have to warn you, though. I am very particular about my coffee. The very best you have, please. Wasn't I going to buy understand. coffee from a vending machine? I'll be right back with it. He's a director. Oh, okay. Yeah, this game's fantastic so far. Like, I can't believe I haven't played it before. Is the coffee going to tell us something? Look with interest. Did you see that, Zach? Clear as a crisp spring morning. <laughs> K. In the coffee. I knew I could count on it. It never fails. This, no. this game's great so far, Ada. Let's get going. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay. Oh, I have a food. Oh, wow. I have meters. Okay. FK in the coffee. Well, my food meter's full because I just ate. Oh, look at all this. Does this cost money? Oh, what am I doing? 
I'm having another coffee. Unexpected trouble is coming your way. Lucky item, lighter. There's what? always trouble heading my way in this job. But I'm always up for a little excitement, too. Same again. Wait, what? She made a ton of food, yeah. I also liked how big the hotel was, and then there's, like, no one else staying in it except me. You'll have a lot of fun today. Lucky place, theme park. Oh! I can there's change it by... Park in this town, though. All that good luck is just slipping away. But I think I'll have a thrilling enough time right now. <laughs> okay, here I'm gonna either. stop. Uh, I'm gonna stop doing that. I don't know what that meant. Extra, f <laughs> I got extra money for. F Ooh, I have a sneak move. I got extra money for storytelling, fortune telling. Hi, Polly. Oh. Hi. If you need anything, you can find me at the front desk. I sell daily goods to guests. I don't have much. So you're the sales girl too, aren't Oh, so you're the sales girl too, aren't you? Yes, that's right. Coffee comes as a set with the breakfast. Don't worry, the service here is just as good as any fancy city hotel. Great, thank you. Oh, all right, then did you want something? Um, what do you sell? Very well, just a moment. Uh, coffee, stabilizer, cigarettes. $114 for cigarettes. Rod, do I need to go fishing? Okay, if I need to go fishing, I know where to come to get the supplies. Oh, did I just run past the save thing? I didn't even see it. First day of investigation. We're done? Two hundred ten bucks. So oh, saving now, yeah. Is the fishing good? Is it good fishing? Use it with a fishing rod to go fishing. Turkey sandwich. You better believe it has fishing. <laughs> well, I got—I don't want to be spoiled about the fishing. The police car. It's that guy, or maybe the girl. Our office is open from nine to seven. Teen. I got confused by what seventeen meant. Don't be late, Sheriff George Woodman. That's 5 so p.m. I have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. It has everything. <laughs> this game has everything. <laughs> Do I get to drive the car? I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. His hair looks terrible. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the sheriff's department. Oh my god. Wipers. Signal. Honk. Boost. Side brake. Headlights. Talk. Okay. Oh my god, it's first person. Where am I going? It's on the map, you idiot. Can I crash? Oh! This is ridiculous. The controls are insane. No, it's definitely gonna be helpful. The controls are like, I don't know where I'm, wait, is there a map? That's not that helpful. The music is amazing, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. So when I press the siren, I go faster. Can I crash? 
Don't roll. Okay, yeah, I felt myself rolling. I don't know if I'm going the right way. Oh, it's using up my energy meter. Also, I think I'm going the wrong way. It does, it does seem Sam and Maxi. I want to get to the... Okay, we're not going the fastest way, but we're going a way. So, if I... Oh, I can fish here. Oh my god, this is insane. If I go this way and take a right... Take a right. Take a right. And then I should be able to find it. It's a penalty. I don't want a penalty. Can I drive off road? Wait, that's that's I want to go there, damn it. I I am so blown away by this game right now. Like I can't believe there's this many things in the game. There are a ton of side missions in this game, Bagel. Keep an eye out. Okay, I will. And then you need to take the second right. <gasps> you didn't see, I didn't. I also forgot that I had, I, I've been kind of overwhelmed with just like the driving in a straight line. Okay, there's the signal. No, oh, oh God. Okay. So Zach, about those bonus switches <laughs> and DVDs nowadays. <laughs> You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there, just trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. This is insane. Some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited. It, I mean, it just keeps Tom going. Bella. It just keeps going. It was really awful, but for some reason, I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87-minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I had to get gas? I was running low on gas. Zach, we'll finish our chat later. Let's take a walk around here. He likes the classics. That's fantastic. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. No, we'll go to the we'll go to the sheriff's office. I have no idea what I'm doing. I could save. Yeah, I need to get like I need to get gas. Of course I need gas. Okay, I actually like... The game was so immersive, I felt the need to like pull it to like a, a parking lot. Greenville Sheriff... Sheriff's Department. Sheriff's what? Department. That's one fine building for such a small town. I just, I saw the parking spot and I wanted the to take it. You agree, Zach? We already have a hotel. Country ham. Country ham will satisfy a moderate amount of your hunger. Damn, I don't think I've ever had country ham. Look at that picture of that guy with that dog. Is he wanted? Who's this? Uh, uh... Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. Thomas McLean, sheriff's assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. <laughs> I know, the running was great. I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. 
I just can't believe Anna was murdered. Yeah, what's the plot she of this game? Such a bright and lovely girl. Did like, why are there well? demons? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. Yeah. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Hmm. I just I just saved. Kitchen room. I can shave. <laughs> Why? <laughs> They're preparing food here. This isn't appropriate. Can I eat? Oh, are these the keys? Are those the keys? Oh, I have to watch the intro? We'll watch it next time. I, I thought the intro was going to uh, spoil something. Turkey sandwich. Did I literally get a turkey sandwich or did I get a playing card of a turkey sandwich? Oh, two kids find a lady dead in a tree. Okay, I'll just take your word for it. What's this? Zach, there's a name written on this dumbbell. Arnold. Arnold. I haven't met anyone by that name yet. Could it be the owner of this dumbbell? I think it was a card of a... What do you think, Zach? You got the dumbbell. I'm just carrying that. I'm taking the dumbbell. Remember that time? <laughs> Sorry. Remember that time in Keenan and Kel when they ran to the top of the Sears Tower and Kel brought, like, dumbbells with them? The small kitchen asserts. Turning out tasty dishes from here. Now that's a true talent. Yeah, of course you remember that. Thomas's locker. I can almost picture the tidiness of its contents. Oh yeah, it said Keenan loves Brian. It's actually Brianna or something, and it, it like tore, and it just said Keenan loves Brian. That's good. That's funny stuff. There's nothing in that locker. What is this? Iron body. Long-tailed flying squirrel keys. What are these keys? I don't get what. The, I don't know what the keys are. It's hardly a mystery who uses these, is it, Zach? I can I can change. Why would I want to change? I look great. Storage. Observe. A well-organized storage room, no doubt. This is Thomas's work, too. Whoever gets to marry him will be spoiled rotten. Oh, jeez. <laughs> a raincoat? Doesn't look like it's been used much, even though it rains here pretty often. <laughs> what waste of nice fabric, eh, Zach? Um, am I learning something right now? Why don't they use the raincoats? Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. I have to launder my clothes? I think I can only run, like, so much. The person probably has nothing to do with the investigation. Oh! 
Emily! Hi. Hello there, Emily. Could you perhaps show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet with the files and asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. She's quite pretty. She'd look better wearing something more fashionable than a dull uniform. Agree, Zach? Oh, we're both going in the same room, huh? Shut the door on her. There's Thomas. Who is this? Oh. Well, this is fancy. I don't know why her belt's crooked. Hey, Thomas. Agent York, did you find the key? Um. You found the key. That's the key. Is this the one you were looking for? Ah. Uh, no. Oh. This is a gray squirrel. Sorry, that's not the key. What's the key look like? Nothing particularly special about the gray squirrel, I'm afraid. You can find them in the US <laughs> and in England too. A gray squirrel. What was I thinking? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. Okay. I have another key. I don't know if it's a flying squirrel. Long-tailed flying squirrel. That's not what he, he asked for a southern one, though. I hope so. I didn't know anything. I didn't know the gray squirrel was in England. I didn't know that. Uh, no. This is a sugar glider. Sorry, wrong key. The sugar glider is a small gliding possum. It has shorter hair and a longer column-like tail. <laughs> You can really see its muscle definition on this image, can't you? <laughs> but we're looking for a southern flying squirrel. Okay. Right now. Zach, can you tell these things apart? No. Um, that's fine. I I didn't know he loved squirrels. That's great. You can just you can just bash doors open. That's fine. <laughs> Nothing to do with the investigation. A desk for the warden. Is it even in use? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, no, that, that was ridiculous. When he bashed the door open, I, I did not expect that. I can sleep? I don't think that's a good idea right now. <laughs> I can't go in. Hopefully, we'll be bringing in the culprit soon, though that'll mean the end of our little vacation here. Um, I assume the key is not going to be in the jail, but... Oh, I can... No, I can't open it. Oh. What's this? Curvy tailed flying <laughs> squirrel keys. Okay. That's not the right one, though. Right? Or maybe it is. Maybe I can't diagnose what a southern. What is this about? Maybe I can't figure out what a southern squirrel is. No, it is. I've noticed it's. I'm noticing that it's quicker. I, I like bashing the doors open. Yes. I haven't gone this way yet. I can push it. Shooting range. Striped squirrel keys. I have there's so many squirrel facts that are about to happen. Can I not can I sh not shoot unless I'm being attacked by demons? I 
I think I think we've been everywhere. I can't go through the fire exit. An emergency exit. It's locked though. What use is an emergency exit if it's locked in an emergency? It's a good point. Okay, scroll facts. You have to re-equip it. Okay. Well, probably best that I don't have my gun out. Now we know this one's wrong, so let's give him this one. Because I want to, I want to, I want to learn about the squirrel. I hope this is the right one. It's not. Uh, you found a Siberian chipmunk this time, have you? Sorry, wrong key. A Siberian chipmunk? This species lives in northern Japan on the island of Hokkaido. They're actually quite a popular pet. So it is Hokkaido the top island? But we're looking for a southern flying squirrel right now. I think it is. It's probably the top one. I don't think we have flying squirrels where I live. You found the key. That's the right one. Yes, a southern flying squirrel. Of course. Thank you so much. I'll bring the files right in, so please go to the meeting room. Okay, I'll be waiting for you. Well, Zach, we just got here, and we've cracked a big case already. Awesome. The victim's name was Anna Graham. Age 18, she just Anagram. graduated from high school this year. Her dream was to move out to the city and become a model. But for the time being, she was working in the A&G diner here in town. She lived yeah, with I her know mother, my Sally. Islands. Anna's father died in an accident in the lumber mill when she was a child. Her mother is unemployed and lives on the insurance money from her husband's accident. After all, it's a small town with a low cost of living. Financially, they seem to get by fine, and they led normal lives. A normal life is exactly what a curious teenager doesn't want. It's all starting to make sense, Zach. He didn't teach us anything about the flux squirrel. He didn't know. Where does it live? What does it do? City folk, huh? No. No, I take that back. All of them can't be as bad as him. And some should have better manners. Huh. This is a good biscuit. I've never tasted a biscuit this delicious. I think this exact scene happened in uh, Valkyria Where Chronicles. Can I get these? It was oh, like anagram, yeah. Actually, I, well, I, I ate them <laughs> myself. Mm, that's amazing. What are you doing in law enforcement? I'm very particular about biscuits, I'll have you know. The balance of milk and butter you've achieved here. Oh, my. Agent Morgan, the autopsy's ready. You are welcome to accompany me to the Greenvale General Hospital. Emily, you come too. Thomas, stay here and tidy up these files. Y yes, sir. We're going to use the car outside. Let's get going. You might think this is just a small town police investigation, but our inspections are thorough and solid. I'm hoping you won't slow us down. Clear time. Nice. Oh, I've got so I haven't spent anything either. I got so much money now. Yes, save. Yeah, we're kicking butt this game, Adam. I'm really good at this. Potatoes will satisfy a small amount of your hunger. Yeah, potatoes suck. The Greenvale General Hospital is down the road by the lake. It's too far to walk. Come on, get in the car. If I'm riding in a car, George, I prefer to be the driver. Yeah. Can you provide a car for me? What are you talking about? You don't even know how to get there. Which is another good reason for me to drive, George. I need to learn my way around town. Oh, man. Very well. Then 
I'll ride with you. I want to keep an eye on you. Yeah, but every, but the cost Fair of living, enough. Rhombus, it's so high. Just one thing, Agent Morgan. Your involvement in this case is limited. That means you don't have to learn your way around town. George, we'd better get moving. The hospital closes at 2100. That's like nine o'clock. I don't, I don't know when that is actually. Can we take whatever car we want? Can I take this car? They're not getting in, are they? They did. Agent Morgan, get us there quickly, but drive within the speed limit. Just because you have a badge doesn't mean you can drive like a maniac. George, what are you, his mother? We just need to get the autopsy results. Don't Agent speed! Agent isn't accustomed to the town yet. Give him a little slack. <sighs> I'm totally gonna crash. Why is it raining? Well then, Agent York, let's get going. Sure, sounds good. Oh my god. Um, okay. That's a win. How do I get the lights on? Uh, uh, oh! Well, that's kind of cheating, but there it is. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Twenty-one, yeah, it's like nine o'clock, right? Vid games. The license plate says vid games. What's that? What's that sound effect? Agent Morgan, I can't help noticing you prefer to work alone. Most of the time, yes. Don't you get lonely flying all over the country alone? I must say I've never felt lonely. Are you married? Unfortunately, relationships and I are fleeting strangers. I don't get on very well with women. You might be surprised Shit. to hear. That's because you're young. You notice things like that at my age. You have to treat oh my God. carefully, like a thin crystal wine Get off, glass. get off of it. If you don't, they can cut scars on your face, just like yours, right? Uh, George, is this an interrogation? I see you're a I'm not going the right way. Uh, but let's not talk about my scar. It was caused by- I can go to lunch? Problematic woman. Do I take no, them to lunch good. with me? Terribly good. It'll fade away. And nobody will notice it in a week. A week? It's not that light of a wound. I feel like the map could so, be like a little tell bigger. Tell. Sorry, I, I gotta look at the map to figure out where I'm going here. Is this a shortcut? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go up the dirt road. Agent Honor, get this out of here. Oh my god. Is this not a shortcut? I'm getting a lot of Agent Honor. Are you sure, Ada? What is this, like the dog park? How, okay, so what do I have to do? Oh my god. What do I have to do to do the side quest? And yes, this is a shortcut. The car still has 87% of its integrity. You forgot to bring the dog. Do I get a dog? What, do what doesn't happen in this game? This is great. So I'm glad the game doesn't actually care about me, like, go, going the speed limit. Oh, what? Bringing up the... I skipped the dialogue, bringing up the map? They were talking. Alright, easy peasy. Greenvale General Hospital. Oh, the shortcut. Yeah, maybe. That's a pretty big hospital. 
What am I wearing? They wanted to be ready for uh, oh, a raincoat? Food poisoning? No, no. It's another leftover from the town's prosperous slumber days. Hard to imagine now, though, isn't it? My mother always talked about how energetic this town used to be. Almost like a gold. Why are we standing out in the rain? Just to say. Impressive. But the hotter the fever, the faster it cools. And so now there's hardly anyone left to use this. Place. Yeah, is there a dating mechanic in the game? Watch my hometown lose so many citizens. And can I take her bowling? Beyond your understanding, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sorry to say that it is. Indeed. And that's why this case is our problem. There really isn't any need for you to get too involved. I have like a rain poncho. I have an FBI rain poncho. Small mouth bass. I could probably fish that up now that I think about it. Hello, Hospital Jack. lady. <laughs> Freckly Fiona. Is that her real name? No, it isn't. I can see it on her name tag. It's Fiona something. We're here to see Usha. Do you know where he is? I think Dr. Johnson is in the computer room. A computer room? In a hospital? <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. FBI agent. The computer room is where our employees share a computer. Very nice to meet you, too. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. But how did you know I was FBI? <laughs> Easy. None of the police in this town wear cologne. <laughs> Besides, that scar on your face is the biggest rumor in town. Rumors get exaggerated as they spread, even in the countryside. What's that you're reading, if I may ask? Liar's House! You haven't heard of this yet? It's a recent bestseller mystery. It's set in the U.S., a small, traditional North American town close to the Canadian border. A peaceful, traditional place. However, that so smell the police was stink. shattered by a terrible crime. The murder of a local the FBI girl. smelled good. And that incident causes grief and sadness to everyone. That's, that's what's going on right now. feels the seditious, heinous, evil still lurking, alive. Yes, much like the situation right now here in Greenvale. Fiona, don't say that. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that. With Anna dead and all. Don't worry. Books are written to entertain. and It's good you're enjoying it. What we're faced with here is Liar's House crime. Rules. It did look like my book. <laughs> Much different yeah, I live in an old logging town near so Canada. To apologize. Thank you, I, We're not a logging town. There's a lot of old logging towns up here, though. They don't log anymore. They don't log anymore. There's no more logging. Bunch of rundown mills. It's my town. I think we're going to stop here for today, folks. We've done a lot today. Remember that time we beat that game? That was nuts. Go back to the title screen. All your progress is up and say we lost. Yes. I want to thank you guys for coming. And if you're new, follow the channel. I am Bagel. I do play the classics. Yeah, we beat Michigan Report from Hell today. What a game. Um... I don't know, Ada. Well, the next stream is going to be on Tuesday. I don't know if we're going to play this game on Tuesday, though. I might keep this as a Saturday game. Ada, I'm really enjoying this game. How spooky does it get? Because I don't want to use 20 hours of Spooky September to play an awesome non-spooky game. Because if it's not super spooky, I might also curtail this game until, like, October 1st. And then come back to it. I think they give me a good recap. Because um, I want to reiterate, the game is amazing. The game is amazing, but I wasn't getting spooky vibes from it. But at minimum, it would be an amazing October 1st game. It just gets weird. I might I might save it then. It was spooky. It was spooky at the start. Um what am I doing? Raiding. So yeah, then I think that might be the plan. 
I think we're gonna do that, Ada. I think we're no, we'll truck and we'll do Deadly Premonition October. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, so I guess I oh I do know what the next game is gonna be. Um, we're gonna play uh, this game called Obscure. I had never heard of it before. Apparently, it's like an Xbox game. I'm sorry, the green screen's so jacked up. Um, apparently, it was like an Xbox and a PC game. I have it on PC. Was the was this light off the whole time? What is that? Oh, I left a chair there. I think whatever, it's fine. Um, I don't have Siren prepared. But yeah, I'm into the obscure horror games, but I think we will play the game Obscure. It's supposedly like Resident Evil, but with high school students. It sounds awesome. Um, so I think we're going to play that next week, and then we'll either go into Obscure 2, there was a sequel, or um, Resident Evil 0. Also coming up is possibly the seventh guest if I'm not afraid of puzzles. Co-op game partner, yeah, I could be horrible. I heard that. That's why we're gonna play on normal Zaraji. I looked into it. Um, yeah, near dog, absolutely. Please suggest a raid. Slug, slug, jest a raid. I don't know enough about Siren. I'm getting mixed um, opinions on Siren. A lot of the good opinions are coming from Chips. <laughs> oh, Cthulhu's on. Yeah, absolutely. Let's raid Cthulhu. I like Cthulhu. I follow. Okay, I have done something. I follow Cthulhu on Twitter. And apparently on Twitch. Okay. Yeah, let's raid Cthulhu. What is he playing? What is this? Russian attack. Never heard of it. Yeah, let's raid Cthulhu. That'd be awesome. Um, I know. I see him in here. Yeah. In conclusion... The next stream is Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for coming. This is an awesome cast. I had a lot of fun. I love you guys to bits. I will catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Thank you, Near Dog, I think. But I don't see anything popping up. Um, I, will, I will see you guys later. I will see you later. Goodbye. Good night. Have a great night. Go see Cthulhu. Um, Cthulhu. Raid Cthulhu. Love you guys. I could have ended that with spooky music and I forgot to. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> nice spooky exit.